these are vents for the fan grills on the king tiger and i'll show you exactly how i made these it's not rocket science you just get a bit of brass wire sure. one mil brass wire let me just put the autofocus on for a second here we go uh, autofocus on there we go so a bit of brass wire solder it together obviously this is one mil brass wire it's available from just about any hardware shop or online from ebay um so that's for the circular ones and also square ones and then also off of ebay for the princely sum of one pound a sheet this is one mil mesh kind of stuff they use in ponds and things like that brass mesh so all i'll do is solder the square on all the way around then cut it out fit it to the actual tank hull i'll be using one mil bolts to go through with <laughs> kind of authentic to the tank the way it looks you'll see all this will come together throughout this show today i'll get all of these finished so i'll be making four two circular two square the kit actually came with these ones but these are kind of pre-made plastic mesh on there i might just take that off and use this stuff because the mesh is a bit big the holes are a bit big for the scale but you will see that as the show goes on that's what i'll be doing uh, come on focus mister oh this new camera is absolutely doggies right let's go to uh carl see what carl's up to sorry i'm just playing with my phone i thought you're playing with something anyway <laughs> well i'm not sure tonight i might do a bit of everything because in your absence I've been thrown under the bus. Really? By Sprue. Because they went off on the Bedford build the other night, and I'm sat there watching it, and I'd said to Sprue that I got the kit, and I was hoping to join, you know, on the next one. Yeah. So I'm building that. I'm on the Bedford build tomorrow night, six weeks behind them, and I'm joining <laughs> in tomorrow. Thing is, though, you are a fast builder, so I would imagine if you really hit it hard over the next few days, you'll easily catch up. Yeah, I'm not bothered at all. The only thing is this the snow and the ice and everything is a problem for me here at all. Yeah, it has suddenly turned cold. And I think it's the same for all of us in the UK at the moment. And wherever you're viewing in the world, welcome aboard, by the way. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and good day to Scott. So I'll probably carry uh, on hello. more on the What's up, bench, Scott? <laughs> I reckon I'll continue decaling the P47. That one. You're almost there with that, aren't you? Look at it. Glorious. Yeah, still got a few decals to go there. I was going to say, the decals look like an absolute nightmare. How did you, how did you go with the uh, nose cone decal? Uh, terrible. Can't you tell? He steamed up, look. You're not seeing it, nah. <laughs> Just your nice clean hands. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm going to go through a little bit of chat. Really? People driving in right now. We've got 11 watching. Cracking effort, everyone. So glad you could all make it. And we're beating the other channel that we're up against tonight. So thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, right, let's go down the channel. Um, start with Dale. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Dale. Welcome aboard, mate. Uh, then everyone says hi to Dale, uh, Jeff Light. Very good evening, Terry, and good evening to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Athol's with good us. Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And who have we here apart from the usual crowd? Anyone new or with an exciting background? <laughs> no, just the usual suspects, mate. <laughs> good evening, Athol. Athol says hi, Carl, Michelle, Jeff, Dale, uh, Dale Mack. Uh, Tony's with us as well. Chubberton's in. Hey, everyone. Uh, Tony. Whatever time it is in Tassie, Scott. <laughs> what time is Tassie, mate? <coughs> well, what time is it there, Ethel? It, it'll be well, six o'clock at yours, six o'clock in the morning at you. Let's see, the... seven. Oh, Carl's seven, learning. Seven <laughs> uh athol says go on then seeing you only have the one point have mine making it two at carl and michelle uh tony says hey athol uh Chubbin says hey athol uh jeff light says a very good evening scott carl michelle athol terry dale and john uh 
Sherman says, hey, Jeff, lots of highs going out. Uh, Lindsay's in. Hey, Lindsay, welcome aboard, mate. Hope you're feeling better. Um, Carl did tell me you weren't feeling very well at the moment, so I hope, I hope you get better soon, mate. Um, and as soon as you do, dive in. <laughs> uh apple says hello terry forgot you was here <laughs> i thought we'd been away for a week everyone forget me again it's like it's like being being back in youtube jail i tell you um yeah right let's get building stuff um i thought mcnichol says scott it's seven ten past seven here or to you scott nine minutes past seven yeah, <laughs> yeah. Governor says hey Lindsay. um i'm not collecting everything right uh, Carlsco, model, good evening all. Uh, Terry says, oh, yes, hey, Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Terry, by the way, <laughs> for doing the streaming thingy. <laughs> oh, 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 Michelle's in, isn't she? <laughs> Sorry? Michelle's in, she can do chat. Yeah. There you go, Shelly yeah, got you jumped out. Right, carry on, I'm busy. We've had tea as well, so yes, you could. I was hoping to get some building done tonight, but it doesn't look like it with all the chat. We'll see. Um, Lindsay's Bill says, hi, CJ, and everyone in chat. Uh, Apple McNichol, hi, Lindsay. Oh, I've been away from my desk. I'm, I've got no chance, have I? Uh, Ron in the building. Hi, Ron, and all in panel. Oh, God, I wish I had that video on here now. I could show I could just put it. In fact, I'm going to download it. <laughs> Uh, I've got to download this. Um, yeah. YouTube. Download it. Can't believe this. I'm having a download from my own channel. Yeah, well, that's all the good way to. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That'll be that smoking. <laughs> uh, who would do that? Mm. Um, good way of knowing uh, what time it is here, Ethel. It's not an hour back from your time, right, and swap the a PM over to the AM. And that's what yeah. it is. So it's eleven minutes past six in the morning Ish. tomorrow. Yep. I know. Another day. There's yeah. no point asking me because it just mixes me up entirely. It's, fr it's Friday, it's Terry. <laughs> it's Friday here, Saturday at Scott. Yep. Right, let's do this. Uh, for those of you wondering why I was away, there, uh, we've got a full refit on at the hotel that I work at. And also, Sunday, I had to go to Liverpool for an award ceremony for the company um, called the Caucus Awards at the Malmaison Hotel in Liverpool, which is right by the Liverbird building. Amazing, amazing location for a hotel. And on the way there, I stopped off in Leeds. Um, and I managed, if you haven't seen it yet, hang on, let me get this. Uh, where the hell did I download it to? There we go. <laughs> 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 uh, a a quick bit. stop off in Leeds on the way to the Corkers Awards in Liverpool, and uh, run! <laughs> it's a <laughs> Greg's superstar. It's Uncle Ron's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for our Uncle Ron, uh, the Greg's king. I can, I actually couldn't believe that there's such a thing as a Greg's like superstore. I just, it just blew me away. It was like McDonald's, but for Greg's. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Uh, that was my stop off in Leeds. I got loads of footage while I was in Liverpool as well. Uh, when, I, when the other guys join us tonight, I'll uh, take some time out of the stream and just get them off my phone and show you them before they go up on the channel. So that's a bit of an exclusive before they get up, up on the channel. Mm. But yeah, great time in Liverpool. What a city, man. What a great city. Um, more chats coming in. Ethel says hi, Lindsay. Ron Hettam uh, says hi, Terry. And all the Ron, you're more than welcome to join us tonight, by the way. Uh, you have a blue spanner. There is a link pinned to the top of the YouTube page. Uh, we are also streaming in glorious 1080p to uh, X, formerly Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch at the same time. Um, Athol says, hi, Ron. Uh, Cho, Patern, Tony says, hey, Ron. Ron says, hi, all in chat. Uh, Jeff says, good evening, Ron. Uh, Ron's, Ron's laughing. <laughs> Ron, get your bottom in here. 
uh, Tony says, awesome, a Super Greg's. Do you pop to see my stained glass ceiling in the Victoria Quarter, Terry? Do you know, I did. I was in the Victoria Quarter. <laughs> Impressive which stuff. Was that? You what, mate? I said, which half was that? Oh. Victorian Quarter, which half was that? Never mind. <laughs> mate. The I'll go back to my war armor, I think. Really is going to be lost on me tonight, the humor. Um, we got 14 watching right now. That's pretty good. And we're still beating the other channel, which makes me even more happy. <laughs> right, let's get back to modeling. I'll show you how I made these um, things, these grills. Right, what I was back. saying just now was thank you for letting us stream to our channels. That's okay, mate. Yeah. I've just gone on to mine to watch with Apple. <laughs> I have no fear of that gibbering baboon diving into your channels. <laughs> well, if he comes into mine, I'll let you know. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, stop. Apparently, oh, God. Apparently, he's banned me from Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay. So, basically, all I'm going to do is quickly solder this in little little dib dabs like you would when you're welding you just put little spots on then cut it out and then solder all the way along the line um this should be quite simple i just need to uh where's my big cutters gone there they are <laughs> have you seen mark bench <laughs> <laughs> oh so let's get this cut out Brass is one of my favourite things to work with, it really is. You can solder it, you can super glue it, you can do whatever you want to it. It's easily bendable, and even if you want it softer, you just heat it up with your blowtorch, and it goes really soft like a, like a real solder. Just don't touch it with your fingers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chances of me hurting myself here, around about 30%, I think. Oh, is that all? I'll try not to. I'll carry on then. <laughs> and right. in chat. Evening, Manuel. Manuel, welcome aboard, sir. Hey, Manuel. Good afternoon, Terry, Scott, Carlton, all in chat. I'll do this with Terry, all right. Apple says hi to Manuel and MP says hi to Apple. CJ saying hi to Manuel. You all right? Keep going, keep going. I've not, I've not got any controls anymore now. <laughs> I've changed all my doofies. Hello, Manuel. <laughs> Right, as I mentioned at the start of the stream, all this brass stuff here, the brass wire, the brass mesh, all available on eBay. Loads of different prices. Um, and this is how I made this first mesh here. Right. That's the first one. That's already complete, all soldered up. Let me try and get that under there. That's a long Terry me chat dolly. Hang on a minute. Michelle, have you still not got the power? No, no because I've changed channels, so I've changed oh, okay. uh, Doofy What's It, so... She's on mine. And then we she's a different email again. I'm not going to all that again. sorted it all out now. Yeah, I'll lend you my chat dolly for the night. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Well, she's good at it. Mrs Spielberg. I can do chat if you want, but it's quite boring on mine. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got Sprue in. Hi, Sprue. I've got Sprue on. Oh, hey. Sprue on <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's Sprue? Even it's Sprue, how you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fighting talk. 
I'm only kidding, Spru. I know who you are. Hang on. <laughs> Sprue, sprue, sprue. Come on, come do on, and do some sprue. Sprue, sprue. <laughs> Baby shark for sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it does. MP. Uh, uh, Doing well. MP models plastic. Yes, I've got no control, I'm not going to find anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay must be feeling oh, okay. Oh, Lindsay's in now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In what? Chat. Chat. Alright. Um, Manuel says hi to CJ. Spruce saying hi to Terry, Terry Scott, Carl and Chuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying hi to Jeff. Hi to Terry Scott, love it. Correct. It's Penfold. Um, Carl Scale Modeling saying hi to Spoo. And Manuel saying that P47 Thunderbolt. Scott is building, have a very cool chess scheme in the cowling. Hmm. Oh. You should have seen him laying out the masking tape for it. Mm. <laughs> I was saying hi to Sprue. And uh, I was saying I'm over on Terry's channel. I know. And I've come over here to see you. <laughs> and then just saying... Sprue and poo. I got loud. So it's so I'm on I'm in some pain tonight, so I will be only be watching guys. No problem, Sprue. Quiet night tonight, Terry. No. Yes, Lindsay's saying hi to Jeff and I thought. Yeah, they as long as we got well. the top team. Rob's in. Oh, hi Rob. Hello, Rob. I'm only, only messing uh, Sprue. I hope you're all right. Um, I was saying you've been eating too many mince pies again. Pain in the gut. Now, my mince pie is perfectly fine. I thought, thank you very much. Yeah, it's all that prune juice that'll give you a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay saying hi to Rob. Jeff saying good evening to Sprue. Manuel saying hi to Sprue. Oh. Uh, yeah, hi Manuel to everyone in chat. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Sorry. Arthur saying hi to Rob. And Manuel saying hi to Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, uh, Rob. And Carl saying hello, everyone. <laughs> right, we got. 16 watching right now. Four, sorry, 14 watching right now. Um, Michelle, if you can drop a link to your, your Carl's uh, YouTube channel into chat, please. And if you're not subscribed to Carl yet, please head over there. Show a little bit of love. Yeah, Carl he needs there. some motivation to get off his backside. Well, you've got a lot of catching up to do with that build. Hang on one now. Yeah, you know what's wrong with Sprue, don't you? He's like, I'm not slumming it with you commoners anymore. I've got me 500 subs. Oh yeah, he's got his five hundred, and he's now he's now really good mates with Miles. Uh, watch how many watch how many epic builds now. He'll be sat at home oh, now, going through the catalogue. <laughs> I'm only joking, you sprue. I was hoping he was going to come on and show you a photograph he took today. 
<laughs> oh, him, yeah. and, him, him and Moz hugging. Mark. No, Mark Bench. We've been teasing Mark all day. You know Mark Mods? Oh, yeah. Yeah, his, be his bench was a mess. Really? Yeah, he was, he's, he's building, he's doing his room, he's moved house. Ah. So it's the only time his bench has ever been a mess. And it happened on stream and everyone saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny as hell. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Apple's trying to get the sprue off me now and take him over to Terry's channel. Ah. <laughs> oh. Musical chairs. I think everybody should hop over to Carl's channel and watch from Carl's channel. You want me to watch Howard's? Yes, because it's on my channel and Terry's channel. No. Oh, uh, no. It's not done it twice. Mm. In the link, it's put. Right, I'll YouTube just see if it works. Channel, just and words twice. Right, just hang on. I was trying to delete it and it didn't delete it. Well, don't worry about it. Just hang on a second. That you can do. And it actually takes you to YouTube homepage thing, not my channel. Hmm. Is that... Yeah. Right, hang on there. Really? <laughs> that song's going to be a right earworm all night. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this very well on here, but my, my untidy soldering, all I'm, all I'm trying to do is, um, let's put this on big. Oh, look at that P47. Isn't that delicious? Look at that. <laughs> screw, screw, screw. <laughs> So let's get focused in. Too many mince pies. There we go. So with this brass webbing stuff, I had the word earlier on, but it's gone. I'm tired. Anyway, you have to forgive me. So the brass square that I made out of brass wire, one mil brass wire, then just tacked it all the way around with the solder. It doesn't have to be tidy because I'm going to snip that off and then then file that down so it's in line to go over the grill hatches there as you can see once that's painted up it's going to look like bobby dazzler without a shadow of a doubt so that's where i am with those now the actual kit you can buy the photo etch online and that will set you back uh, about 23 quid on <clears throat> on ebay so i'm making these for less than a fiver basically myself and i get the pleasure of actually making them which is that's the thing that we model for the pleasure of making something creating something with our own two hands so there we go i'll split this back up again Ta -da. how we going <laughs> sorry i don't know if you read that one michelle um Athol says okay as Terry said everyone nip over to Michelle's and continue watching from Scotland instead of England hey I don't know yeah. <laughs> guys you can head over to Carl's channel and one of my mates the viewing time and the views and that um than mine because I'm I'm happy the way I am to be honest and thanks everyone for watching tonight uh we didn't have 20 just now but it's <laughs> 17. And there is a link there that uh, Michelle has just put in. On uh, so head over there, give it a subscribe, show it some love. It doesn't cost anything, and you'll be helping out one of my mates. Thank you so much. Thank you. I might be repeating what you've already said, uh, Michelle. Lizzie's bill says, been drinking apples prune juice again, Ace Brew. <laughs> uh. I've got to try this prune juice. Everyone's going on about it. They make you go red. No, nobody's going on about it. It's just Everyone's taking the mick out of. <laughs> oh, so it's not an actual thing then? Yeah, it no, is a it thing, is. yeah. It, it, the it apples is, on it. It's, it's, um, it helps the old bowels. 
It's good for your bowels. It makes you it's poop. It's very Gives you the skitters, it's very yeah. high in fibre. <laughs> Do you like prunes? With custard, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind them. I, the thing is, I like all fruit, to be honest. Well, I've never had a fruit that I haven't liked. Well, basically, that's the juice from the prunes. I oh, have yeah. well. papaya. Blech. I've never really had prunes. I don't think I've don't really like had prune juice, but I don't. I like prunes. I don't like pa uh, mango. Blech. No, I'm not over keen on mango. What's that other pomegranate? That's another. Oh, I love pomegranate. Yeah, I like pomegranates as well. Yuck. The one I love is grapefruit, and I'm not allowed it. Watching through your channel. Hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Do? Oh, what's that? So all I'm doing now, because I've put too much solder on, heat it up a bit and then just shake it off. Then I can get my cutter, go all the way around, and this one will be finished. So if don't do talking, what Jeff done. What's that? What? Jeff Donahue was on at the soldering the other day and he was saying about, oh, put it in vinegar. He did it help clean it up. Well, he forgot to take right. it out, didn't he? Uh, it, didn't dissolve. What happened? it dissolved all his solder. The vinegar dissolved his solder? Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. There again, I'm not the sole source of knowledge on the planet. He said he ended up with a lot of white muck in the bottom of his bowl. I got a shout out off him the other night. Nice one. How's his channel doing? Has he has he has he got managed to get more subscribers? Yeah, I he's think he's monetized now. Oh, awesome! That was quick. Because uh, I was on the other night. We we had a little hiccup. I don't know if you heard. We, you oh. know, I'm struggling with me uh, entrance and all. Don't know what to say yeah. and get tongue tied. Yeah, well, I've done the best one ever, and we've we we'd gone time. gone all round the benches and everything. Been on about eight minutes, and then realised we haven't pressed the live button. <laughs> well, I haven't pressed the live button. Well, that's like an, issue, an, an, an initiation to YouTube because we've all done it. Oh, it was so funny. First time it was, I didn't do the countdown. Second time, didn't press the go live. But then Jeff turned up out of the blue. Oh, how came awesome in. is that? So he just come to give me some support and then the next night he was plugging me on his channel. Oh, that's just brilliant. So I was really happy and a bit chuffed, to be honest. You know what I mean? It's, it's all right, Jeff. Well, it's validation, isn't it? You've got to like a... Mind you, you're both at the same kind of standard as far as modelling goes. Okay. I mean, I've got them... Uh, I've got those pictures you sent me the other last week still to put into a... In fact, I might do that in a minute and show everyone the, the pictures. That's one way of getting it onto my channel. Do it through yours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought McNichol says US, U.S. Marines down in the Pacific during World War Two used to get as part of their meal tins of peaches. Yeah, I love yeah. Peaches. Now we had a day, and you go loads, but the Brits had an idea: cut out the fruit, cut out the fruit, and drink the juice. <laughs> yeah. I like peaches. There's a link to uh, Spruce channel if you've not subscribed over there yet. I think everyone on is subscribed to you now, Spruce. Yeah, so I'm just going to file off the rough edges now on this. Well, I thought I'd have a go at uh, that Doom Scythe tonight, so I'm just doing some dry brushing on it. 
I'm doing a bit of uh, that. Oh, that's, that, that's the thing that Lindsay's built in it and uh, Sprue. Yeah, yeah. No, Sprue hasn't. No, Sprue built the, the ghost arc. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, guess what Michelle bought me the other day? Um, let me guess. More Warhammer. Yeah, Ghost Dark. <laughs> <laughs> guess what Snowy bought today? Go on. Ghost Dark. Oh, my God. Guess what Connie has got? Today? Guess what I didn't purchase today? <laughs> Ghost Dark. <laughs> yeah. The winning lottery ticket. Because you couldn't have At least I got Scott either. keeping the faith. <laughs> Mind you, normally we're outnumbered by Warhammer on the are we? So it's me that's outnumbered tonight. So I think this one's more or less done. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Spruce put it in, in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Spruce put a link in chat. Why does it take us? <laughs> <laughs> it's a clip from earlier today in Lindsay's um, afternoon ah. stream. <laughs> And it's it's fine. It's clean. Well, <laughs> it's appropriate. That's not a mess. The, per the person that oh, it, seen it. The person that it involves absolutely hates having that mess. That is an absolute mess to them. <laughs> He needs to come and see my bench. He'd have a fit. Oh, he does. Spruce says the dirty bench clips. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique, say Hi, Dom. You all right, Hi, mate? Hi. Hey, Dominique. Hi, Dominique. <laughs> Got all the big boys in tonight. Excellent. Um, uh, oh, Link at the top of the chat if anybody wants to dive in. And we are streaming in glorious TV <coughs> to most of the platforms apart from Facebook. Because I yeah, ain't the same. And guess what Terry has not thought of buying of late? You get it? More Warhammer? I thought you were going to get some more Warhammer, Terry. <laughs> we were having a discussion about this the other day because Michelle thinks you were going to get a tank and I says, no, he's interested in the giant. I am, yeah. I will do. As soon as I get some cash together, I will be purchasing, but I have got right now at least 10 kits that I, I need to do. So it's going to be a while. But when I do get it, you guys will probably still be building them anyway. <laughs> I don't think what happens is going to go away anytime soon. No. Uh, no. You have, all of you have been thoroughly infected with the bloody stuff. Oh, yep. <clears throat> that reminds me. <clears throat> Remember how I said uh, my canopy's left China? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it hadn't. Oh, but it left oh, yesterday. It. <laughs> it what? It left, it yesterday. left yesterday. I hate doing that trapping from China. <clears throat> right, the solder wasn't flowing particularly well on this brass because it's got a bit of oxidisation on it. So I've used a bit of proper plumber's flux on it 
just to get this solder going and it just took immediately there so always when i'm doing stuff like this there is a learning curve involved and when you find something a better method to do something then you you incorporate it and that's taken much much better so that is the way forward So uh, again, just rubbing some of this plumber's flux along the brass. Beautiful. That is working so much better. I don't know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking I'm going to end up melting. Oh, it's too cold. <laughs> right, let me try and get this in focus here. Right, let's get it in focus. careful as I can. Spruce, spruce, spruce. There we go. You've already said it more than three times. Oh, I know. He's, he he's, won't be coming in. He won't be coming in. I'm just got it stuck in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean sprue. <laughs> right. Sprue will be so impressed. Sprue. Do, do, do. I'm going to have to leave that like that for a minute because it's just popped up a little bit on that side. So, get this off. Bend it back a bit. Oh, that's hot. You're not meant to touch it. There we go. Strangely, once he gives a laugh. Not on a, not on a good guffaw all week. So... Give him a little stick of this. Put some along there. Because I'm using this plumber's flux on this, I will have to wash these off afterwards. Or else the paint, when I come to spraying it, ain't gonna stick. So that's that. Hey, diddle -de -de. Oh, the salt. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's got that. Okay. Let's see. Put 
in a bigger minute. There we go. Try and get a nice zoom in on of this so you can see the solder work there. Let me get the focus on. No. There, as you can see now, that soldered that filter stuff on nicely. And that's what exactly what I want. So it does go on a lot smoother when you use the flux, the proper flux, rather than using uh, flux core solder. So I'll do this one live live out. A little bit on there, like that. We're still in focus. Here we go. Not missing something. For those interested in the soldering iron. This was 15 quid or summer off of um, AliExpress. It goes up to 480 degrees, way more than I need, but I like it hot. Drop it like it hot. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the thing soldering iron is, you put it down, it turns off after five minutes. Pick it up, it turns itself off again. Get up Pick it up, it turns on. That's nice. Saves your nibs, saves your tips. That's nice. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. There we are, most of the way around. I mean, the proper things on the original King Tigers will have just been tack welded all the way around. Um, as soon as they noticed, like, a curse and things like that where the russians were throwing grenades into the into the fan drills that's that's the moment that these quickly very quickly got put on so that's that all we need to do now is tidy up ds models are joining us hey ds how you doing mate who's in steven haynes has joined us as well hey steven uh, hey steven DS models. Hey. Evening, Dave. Okay, catching up with some chat now. Here we go, because I've been lazy again. I was just trying to show you how to do stuff. And thank you for joining us tonight, by the way. We've got 18 watching right now across all the things. Uh, oh, Carl's got six watching from this channel right now. Hey, hey, Carl. I know, I'm one of them. Way to go. <laughs> Oh, so you're watching yourself. Oh. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> well, if I watch myself, I can see who's in chat, you see. <laughs> mm. And if anybody comes in that shouldn't come in, I can tell Michelle and she can do them. I can't. I know. I know but we, we can keep an eye on it, though, that's what I'm getting at. So there we go. Right, let's get this trimmed. And I've only got one more to That's do. Chris, then... Dave. Yeah, I better go uh, auto focus. I think on this one. Let me go auto focus. There we go. Come on, focus. No. I'm just trying to get you the best focus here for this. Uh, what we're about to do. There we go. So all I do here is just snip it off. So, slip off any extra. And this one has worked a lot better than the other two I did because I used the plumber's flux. So, there's a tip for you always use the plumber's flux. I've said it before. I don't know why I didn't start this. Actually, sure I'm four, I'm a knight. Is that what you're going to be doing, Carl? Warhammer Knights? <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just going to show you that night now. Okay, let me put you on big. Will you not be on? Oh, sorry, I've not got it yet. 
You sure it's just going to get it? Well, I'm only going to be doing some filing, so if you want to do whatever you want, mate. Mm. No, you know... Um, we... Scott's got the power as well, so <laughs> he can highlight chat if he wants to. Yeah, he can read chat. <laughs> Didn't become a bloody member to do all the bloody work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Scott. Spruce. <coughs> Spruce. Um, uh, I'd say it's the same clip about Mark's bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was so funny last night, though. Oh, that's a good, Dave. I'm happy to hear that. Chris is feeling a bit better today. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm on big. Sorry, I didn't realise. Yeah, Cal, you're on big. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear, Dave. Terry? What, mate? Oh, is that that two tone stuff again? Yeah. I've got to get me some of that. So I've actually put it on well, the... Well, then, Carl, explain the process. You've got to get I've used to I've actually put it on come. the craft explain this the time. That's quite good, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So explain to people what the process is. I can't right? hear you, Michelle. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard, Mr. Lindsay. <laughs> Hey, Gail, hey, how you doing, mate? How you doing? Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> We've missed you all week, Terry. Right. Mate, I've missed being on again. It's been it's as if I've been in YouTube prison again. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know what our next mission should be? Now Spruce hit 500. We've got to get you to 500. Yeah. It'll get there one day. Mate, maybe, no we can, maybe, can we, maybe we can borrow some of Sprues to make get you to 500. Yeah, I think you should pass some over. Look, no, you? Lindsay, you should borrow Sprues cheat code. <laughs> live, on, live, on, live on Moz's channel and get into other times here. Really? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was only kidding, mate. <laughs> oh, what are you doing there, Lindsay? Um, I thought I'd do some work on this. It's been sat in the withdrawal for ages. It's for uh, my oversized chicken. <laughs> This build. Yeah. How would you go getting some tenders off that? Well, well, it's a bit like uh, buying spare ribs from a Chinese shop, isn't it? There's not a lot on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Like, it, you just reminded me of that classic Ken Dodd joke. He was on Parkinson. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> hang on, let me just tighten this up a bit. There we go. You're gonna stay there for me? No, you're not. Yeah. Just really folds it up. There we go. Yeah. No, come on. There we go. Ah. Yeah, Ken Dodd was on Parkinson. I don't, we've got people from all over the world, but Parkinson was one of the greatest chat show hosts ever. And uh, Ken Dodd is one of our greatest comedians of all time in, in the UK. Back in the 70s, he was massive in the 80s. But Ken Dodd was on there having a chat, and he got into this joke, and uh, it, it sounded like the real thing, because just the way Ken Dodd talks. So when he, was, when he was on the way to the chat show, he was going down the motorway in his Jaguar, and he's doing, you know, <laughs> 79.9 miles an hour <laughs> as you do um, 
and he looks out the window and there's a chicken running by the side of his jaguar like and he looks at the chicken and uh, he puts his foot down and the chicken catches up with him and then he looks a bit closer and he notices the chicken's got three bloody legs so he puts his foot down a bit more he's doing 120 miles an hour the chicken is keeping up with the jaguar then all of a sudden the chicken turns off veers off down the road and ken dodd follows him in his jaguar and uh, the chicken disappears off into this farmyard. There's a farmer stood at the gate, a little bit of straw sticking out of his mouth. And uh, he says, did you see a chicken just from past here? He goes, aye, got lots of chickens around here. He goes, did, but did you see a chicken with three legs? And the farmer goes, aye, that's, I breed him, I do. Three-legged chickens, I've been breeding them all my life. And he goes, well, what do you breed, breed three-legged chickens for? And the farmer says, well, I like a leg, my wife likes a leg. And my son likes a leg. And then he goes, uh, what do they taste like? And he goes, I've no idea. I've not caught one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Classic <laughs> <end of joke. laughs> yeah. joke. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, my desk, my desk is a bit clean up. I've cleaned it up today. <laughs> At this point, I'd like to shout out to Mark's Mods. Is it Mark's Models or Mark's Mods? Mark's Mods. Mark's Mods. Mods. Mm. M-O-D-Z-S. Yeah. <laughs> and Tash is in the chat. Crafting Budgie Mama. Hello, Tash. Oh, she's not in mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mine now. She don't associate with Rick Ruff. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> she must be in Scots then. No, I haven't got more than go. Oh, Terry, I've got a message off Sprue. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not the same without sprue is it hi dom hi everyone in chat yeah i've got to congratulate sprue on hitting the 500 subscriber mark uh welcome aboard to the uh professional youtuber world sprue <laughs> <laughs> All it means now, Spruce, you've got to put out some proper content for a change. <laughs> it was a nice video of a... Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> you what? He's going to be in here in a minute. <laughs> oh, you do agree. Oh, yeah. Depends, Depends whether he's still in pain. Yeah, you know that giant you like, Terry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stick some big. I'll show you how he is at the minute. Da, 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 da. Let's take a look at the giant. Oh, this is going to be so cool, man. Oh, thank God your internet's improved. This is legs. Ooh. Pull back a bit, mate. Oh, yeah. So, it's coming... I'll put him that way around. I'll bring out his, his body. Wow. Yeah. Carl, you seriously need to take some pictures throughout the build, the different processes. I know Michelle said that to me, and I thought, damn, I forgot. I know we've oh, been doing that. Look at that hand. Are you taking What's pictures? That? You know when you live stream yourself. Are you taking pictures? Oh man, man, mind you. No, I've not taken no, any. Taken Do you want to see a big weapon? Go on then. <laughs> That's a huge weapon. That's way bigger than sprues. It is. I saw sprues today. It was tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good vibrationization again. <laughs> It was, it was less than half the size of this, but it it was thicker, wasn't as long. Well, it, it was girthier. 
Yeah. I wasn't going to say that, though. Big high crafting buddy, mama. Welcome aboard, Dash. So, I just thought you might like that. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely. After the next couple of builds, I will be purchasing one of those. Don't worry. I just need to. Uh... I think that is gorgeous. So, is that the proper oh, color it's meant to be? No, I'm just trying something different. Because, right. like, since he's done his black and green. Yeah. You can do I've seen them red. But I'm just trying that. So do you not get any grief off of the uh Warhammer, you know, zealots when you're when you're doing this, when you're showing these off? I haven't had any comments full stop. Is that that colour shift? Yeah. Wow. I thought it might look different. That's nice. That's really nice. You want to do your ghost arc in that colour as well, the side panels. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. And I know I'm supposed to do these like green, but I might do them blue just to be different. I've seen st stolen Lindsay's uh, metalizing method. No, it's it's called dry brushing. It's just a method. I don't think Lindsay patented it. Lindsay, t tell him he's he's just nicking your copyright there. <laughs> I'm taking him to court for the. Uh, okay. You can have me for everything I've got. <laughs> Does that mean all your Warhammer? How many do you want? <laughs> Should have said that, mate. You've got a right stash. Ah, so. right. hmm, it's big. Let's, big up. Let's do the final one. Right, I'm going to do this final one, then that's it for my modelling tonight, and I'll just concentrate on the chat and uh, everything else that's going on. And remember, guys, we are streaming to all the platforms tonight Instagram, uh, Twitter, X, sorry, uh, YouTube, and Twitch. Now, I did hear some news today that apparently Twitch is on the verge of bankruptcy. How much truth there is in that, I do not know. Um, it was from a couple of other YouTube channels, which reckon they forked out that much for these big name um, content makers. They're getting nothing back, like advertising revenue wise and stuff like that. So I hope not, because Twitch is a pretty good platform for gamers. I haven't heard anything more in. Like I say, it's just bubbling up right now. It, it came up in my st stream when I when I got in tonight setting up this. There was some YouTuber going on about is is Twitch about to go bust? Yeah. Uh, well, I associate myself with a Twitch streamer, and they haven't said anything. Right. They probably don't even know about it themselves yet, so. It's probably mm. just like someone like, you know, saying something, hoping to shake the cage and more information falling from the tree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There might be nothing in it. <coughs> right, it's just getting this final bit of soldering done and it's all nicely off camera you idiot there we go turn you around come here there we are and it's not in focus <laughs> no. let's get this final bit of ujima flots it done let's put her in focus there we go a little bit of flux beautiful Clamp. 
He may be thinking that I'm going to end up melting the clamps, but they aren't getting, I'm not letting it get hot enough to do that. So, and because the solder takes almost immediately on here, I've got no worries about that. We can live in hope. Go. But you said that, and six had just dropped off, mate. You what? I said you said that, and I've lost six. I've now I've got three. Okay, come on. I'm waiting for the ambulance. That's a point. I haven't seen Wayne Welly. He's on there. Uh, Get some bits. Ah. Sorry, scale model ink. But that's okay. We've got more watching us at the moment. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. Get your ass over here. Right. So, just a little bit of flux. Just a little bit. Now that book he's released has gone into the, is it the top 100 or something? Top 100 what, mate? That, you know, that book Tam's released. Smoke and Mirrors. It's uh, supposed to be in the 100 Amazon books or something. Awesome. Well done. Well done. As we were chatting earlier in the green room, um, Carl, mm -hmm. when you look at a channel's subscriptions, their views in the first week should be at least 10% of their subs. All right. Or else there's something nefarious going on. Mm. And it's not me saying that, that's YouTube saying that. So I am on the final leg here, the final little bit. Soldry, soldry. And then I can concentrate on you, Lot, in the chat. Sorry. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> your turn. Your turn. Sure, sure. 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 Done, finished. Final one, done. <laughs> ah, oh, pass it in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> saying, so next challenge is to get Tasha down the rabbit hole and into Warhammer. Tasha, don't do it. She's just got into modeling, but <laughs> don't want to scare her off just yet. Just yet. <laughs> I'm right.
Hey, Terry. Yes, mate. How you going? <laughs> going good, mate. How are you going? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, one of the best things about the internet is all the people from all over the world can just jump on the same stream. It's just great. Yeah. <laughs> I think the guys out in the uh, chat should come in here on the panel. Anyone with a blue spanner can dive into the stream. We're going on for a few hours tonight because I need to get my YouTube injection of fun and stuff on. I miss you all this week. Right, come on, camera, play the game. Don't know what I'm Give doing. us a wave, Terry. I've done something to my new camera. I don't know what I've done. It's not, it's not playing ball. Come here. It's broken. No, I haven't. There we go. Come on, Dominic. Can I show us how that figure's doing? It hasn't had much use this week. This week. <laughs> yeah, Dominic, come and show us your figure. Maybe it's in a nice leotard or something. <laughs> he's, he's done a one, si one sixteenth figure. Athol says, uh, push, push, push fit kits for beginners would be ideal for you. And if you like them, who knows which direction you may end up on. And there are female warriors, Tasha. That was for Crafting Budgie Mama. I thought you were talking to Terry. Ha, 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 ha you're so funny. <laughs> Told you, Carl is turning into sprue. Waka, 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 waka. You're telling, Tess, you're telling. <laughs> Crafting budget myself says, then I might as well do me as I'm already a warrior. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way to go, Tash. So I'm just gonna chop this out. Do you know I can start making these and flogging them on eBay? Little history fan drills. It'd be your only fans, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, I did say, I'm joking aside at the start of the stream, that the actual fan grill set for these is like 20 quid on uh, eBay. Like the photo etch, the the one that's pre-made so i've got all of this here for what i pay two quid for that two four quid bit of wire pound so a fiver and i can make another four sets how many can you make before you burn your shed down <laughs> <laughs> so carl is so, switching carl between blue and blue way welly right now <laughs> the cool willy Wayne just wants me to hurt myself every single episode Sprue just takes the piss out of me every episode <laughs> ah. Dominic saying that the 116th figure is almost finished oh cool bring it in show us yeah Come on, Dominique. Come on in and show us your sexy figure. <laughs> There's enough room on the panel. <laughs> More than enough. We have a uh, 12 spot. Penny! Oh, God, I've missed it this week, Penny. Um, welcome aboard. Captain <laughs> Bunny Mama says, What's my career been? If you're all still on, I'll come on. Okay. Okay. 
More than welcome to dive in, Penny. Hey, Penny. Hello, Penny. Yes, my lady. <laughs> lady Penelope. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, two. one. Dun, dun, dun. I'm surprised Greg didn't pop that. Uh, Greg, I'm surprised Ron didn't pop in actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah we haven't seen him for a couple of days. No. Apart from in chat, that is. He didn't even want to come in the BPM stream. Ah. Oh, wrong one. A quick stop off in Leeds on the way to the Corkers Awards in Liverpool and uh, run! <laughs> it's a Greg's superstar. <laughs> it's Uncle Ron's heaven. <laughs> Had to do it again. <laughs> Uh, Paddy says, love to jump in, but on a lunch break in Barking. Uh, okay. Uh, Dominic says he's going to do it in consultation with the lady of the house. Okay, Dom, no worries, buddy. Uh, Athol says, hi, Penny. Uh, Stephen says, hi, Penny. I probably missed tons of chat. Thank you. You're all right. Cracking. So, let me bring the camera around and ta da! My fan grills are done. Oh, that's really good, that is, Terry. Well done, then, mate. Yeah, good, good, good job, Terry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Okie dokie. Very good, that, Terry. Oh, thanks, Carl. Cheers, mate. I am going to now put Carl's pictures into a merry-go-round. Terry, that looks excellent, that, mate. That's <laughs> really good. After a little drink of coffee. I think it's a good idea, that, making them. So well, if anybody else has the 135 making for, I can now make them. Sorry, Scott, I missed that, mate. That was Carl, not me. All right. <laughs> it's all right. I'm used to it, Scott. <laughs> hey, Scott. Yeah, mate. How you going? Yeah, good. Good. How are you doing? I'm Ooh. going good, mate. I'm thinking about throwing a shrimp on the bar. Look out in the green room. Incoming, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome yeah. to the next stage this Friday night. One, the only. Dominic Cuckoo. <laughs> hey, Dominic. I'm okay. Hang on. Hey, guy, Matt. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Big screen coming up. You all right, Dom? Oh, he's been feeling. Yeah, I'm okay. Should should we oh, get the well. Should we get the drum roll going or? Uh, yes. I need, we need it focused. God damn it. No. Cameras. Terry, this is what it's meant to look like. That's cool. <laughs> the eyes are pretty good, too. Pretty good. No, the eyes are terrible. I think the eyes, think the eyes are jealous of each other. They're looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we yeah, go. There you go. 
Yeah, that looks all right. What's wrong with that? Dominic, I was joking, mate. That's really good. It's even got a cigarette in his hand. Yes. Excellent work, mate. Nice. Well, that's all with acrylics, yeah? Yes. All acrylics. Uh, and I am busy with uh, my other build. That is my airplane. I tell you the, the, the really airplane what uh, with the a lot of space with the cap for the engine. I uh, I, I spray painted this uh, day. I did all the panel lines, reshading, mm. and then after the panel lines, I did the color. It's a little bit uh, green. Uh, uh, it's a Messerschmitt BF1. One no, yeah, one oh nine. Yep. Uh, the E and uh, the front is yellow. Uh, I have a picture of my instructions. This is what I want to do. Yep, 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 yep. Uh -huh. And then this is for now. Uh, this color I do that tomorrow and on here and here and then I do on the bottom side I do the blue uh, I think this was this color this blue color on the bottom side but uh, that's what I'm doing tomorrow so tell me your covers you're using on there yeah no, it's not to my. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Hobby. Ah. Okay, I'm back in a second. Okay, I'm buddy. No worries. It's looking good, though, mate. Thank you. Right, let's camo these puppies. No, I don't need to camo them yet. I need to put the. I need to make some clamps. Now, what did the clamps look like? Let me bring up a picture. Ah, vent clamps. Um, what am I going to be looking for here? Let me do this. Right. Okay. Lindsay's bills. Firstly, I'm going to drop a link in for Lindsay's bills. Copy. And um, pasty poos. Here we go, link in for Lizzie's channel. Please head over there and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. He is the actual real life godfather of internet modeling. I say that with not a light heart, with a head with a heavy heart, so I'm jealous of his skills. There we go. A master model maker. No two ways about it. Head over there, give Lindsay some love. And I'm just gonna drop a link in for Carl's channel because Mrs. Producer's been a bit lazy tonight. <laughs> Where's my links? There we go. YouTube, Carl Edwards. Here we go. Copy, 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 copy. And this is Carl's page. Now, Carl really does need some help here. He's on about how many subs you got now, Carl? 40? 42. 42. So he's promised to put more content out and do more live streams if he, he gets a few more subs. So please head over there to this link right now. Head over there. It don't cost nothing. Just click the subscription button. Boom. It's for free. And you get free entertainment. And I'm even okay. thinking of what Bruce said doing a giving away when I get to 100. Sky TV costs you a fortune. You know, Netflix costs you a fortune. What does YouTube cost you? Absolutely nothing. Right. I was looking for a nice picture of the vent covers on. All right, vent covers. Um vent covers King Tiger. A 
been down this road so many times. I should save these pictures, images. There we go. Come on, give me a picture of the plants. I will be right back. Look amongst yourselves, chaps. I'll be back in a second. Ooh. You've pumped on what, already. What mischief can we get up to? I'm sure you'll think of something. If not, ask Lindsay. No, Sprue will have better ideas. <laughs> Sprue, what can we get up to? This other monkey. Could I just go visit Mark? I'm back. Have I still got a channel? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We've just heard you a strike. <laughs> Right, I'm going to go to Lindsay, come on Lindsay, because he's getting busy with that at, -AT. It's an at yeah. and an yeah. 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 yeah, basically what I'm doing is, um, instead of using filler, is uh, we've got like these gaps where it joined together. So what I'm doing, instead of using filler, yeah. I've used yeah. um, time you extra thin. Showing the wrong camera, Lindsay. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll let me switch my camera. What a read that. Switch the camera. There we go. Look at that. Yes, yeah, so basically, you get normally because it's just two halves, you get a nice gap between the two. So, what I'm doing, instead of using filler, I'm using Tummy Extra Thin. And then uh, wait for it to dry, then sand it down, and it's uh, completely filling the gap. Yeah, I've see. seen it. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do that with uh, aircraft halves. Yeah, mm. it's a lot easier than sticking a load of filler on it and then taking ages to <coughs> yeah. sand it yeah. right down. Yeah. But the time you actually thin will actually melt the two parts together anyway. Mm -hmm. um, just got to put on a little bit at a time. In there. So, it's getting there. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Got a little bit here in this corner. Down here. Just keep rubbing it on. Just wait for that to dry now. See, this is a problem with watching other modelers. I've got to get me an ATST now. I've got to get one. So, the more you put that extra thin on, it, huh? it, the more you put that extra to that to my extra thin glue on, the more it will fill a gap. Yeah. If if you squeeze it get together, oh, you've got mm -hmm. to squeeze it together. All right, okay. It melts the plastic, doesn't it? Yeah. And then any swarf, you know, like uh, your dust. Yeah, yeah. Normally, if you felt if you feel that, that would just go all over the place. But what it does when you start sanding it, it actually combines the two together and fills the joint. Right. Mm. Awesome. I thought what Nicholas says. Thank God I do not have anything worth publishing on my channel. So no stalkers stalking me, Tasha. <laughs> As you said, uh, I've only done two videos so far. I chat gobbledygook, and um, I thought, <laughs> That's a good one, Mama says, I love it, Lindsay. Thank you very much. All right, let's uh, split the room up. Let's go to this group. 
Sprue's our director tonight. Thank you, Sprue. Um, <laughs> that's Scott's P47 coming on lovely. He's also been making a pack of cigarette papers as well. That's really clever. That that looks real. What's yeah, it's one to one scale. It's Whoa, really weathered. Papers. Look yeah. at that. I, I just got to dust it. I still want to know how you managed to get that curve on that decal, the nose cone decal, without uh, free, it up. freehand painting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen seen um, uh, pictures on Facebook where people have actually cut the squares out to make that uh, to. Uh, paint the nose cone i couldn't be bothered doing that so i just used the decal <laughs> right <laughs> I, was, I went down what was it late late yesterday evening i went down the uh oh you're gonna no oh, man i went down the warhammer rabbit hole and there was a guy he was doing the blue men like we did scott hang on let me uh just um change the camera around there we go all right okay there so yeah our little blue men that we did there was a guy there's a faction of these fellows that have that same pattern on their epaulets and on their um like glove armor and the guy was actually painting freehand painting that pattern on there at that size and that's tiny yeah. So you gave gave them red eyes too, did you? Only you. one of them. I couldn't be bothered to do the others. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I now have nothing against Warhammer. I'm a little bit of a little bit of a fan, but not a massive fan. Like I say, I've got loads of models on my shelves that I've got to get through, or they just start piling up. And people will be calling me Lindsay too. I'll have to buy a warehouse to store my models in and uh, buy one of them hats that that dude from Red is of the Lost Dark wears. In fact, Lindsay, you should get one of them hats. <laughs> we, should have a, we should have a GoFundMe to buy Lindsay a full Red of the Lost Dark outfit. <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> full as well. Paul coming out for keeping us all in He's order. He's got that. It's above his bed. <laughs> <laughs> and the fun begins. Uh, uh, Crafting Budgie Mama says hi to everyone over here. Is she swapping channels, is she? Yeah. She's channel hopping. <laughs> Surfing. Uh, yeah, Carl She's says showing the love. Oh, his channel. Oh, yeah, uh, please, guys, flick around the channels. Uh, get some hours in for my friends. I really don't mind. You, I've put the links in. Like around giving heart, uh, likes and stuff. Scott, have you got anything up on your channel yet? Any, um, the, uh, uh, show and tell and stuff like that. I'm going to throw a link into your channel as well. Why not? Here we go. This is my mate Scott from Tasmania. <laughs> I would have done tonight's, but it, it's too late to do that now. Hey, no worries. No worries, my friend. This looks exciting. Dominic's cleared his desk. <laughs> What's Maybe coming we out should now? take a screenshot of that and send, send it to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. One hundred nine. Let's just make VF one hundred nine. Yeah. Uh, Edward. Edward. One forty-eight. Yeah. No, one thirty second. Dominic, oh, have you got your camera set to seven twenty or ten eighty? Um, uh, I think 1080. I think at the minute. Uh, 
No, I have a 4K oh, camera. Oh, how strange. It just looks from here like you're streaming at 720, that's all. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can change that in my settings. If you're in StreamYard now, it'll be the StreamYard setting that you need to set it on. So it's settings. If you click the settings button on StreamYard, In the camera bit. Oh wait, you. yeah, you are, you're right. <laughs> then ATP. Right. So I changed it. It'll take a minute to change. Why does the camera go out and come back in again? I don't know. No, it is okay now. I changed the settings. Yeah, he has changed. It may take a minute or two for it to register. There we go. Almost. Is that better? That's 132. Yeah, that's better already. That's, that's, um, has a go kit, really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, but I have trouble. How many with, uh, that thing has to go? Or how's the fit? Really bad, really bad. Yeah, look, this confirmed my suspicion. Oh my god, that's off a different oh, plane. Yeah. <laughs> this side, oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. That Edward uh, Rebox and has a gower kit and just put the the good stuff in it. Yeah. What I can do, I can remove this piece and then he can fit. That is the whole problem. Yeah. How, th how thick is that plastic on the nose where that goes? Oh, yeah. There's two little holes. Uh, on this side, yeah, it's quite a bump. Come on, so we've got no chance of dribbling it out a little bit. Uh, no, then you then you uh make the hole in this, piece. yeah. I could see that. I'm gonna show you something really strange now. Hang on, let me show you something really strange. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Maybe you can see it here in the inside is really nice. Uh, maybe a little bit of light. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Look at that photo. Yeah. Nice. It's That's awesome. Awesome. awesome, Dominique. Yeah, it's a really nice. Really nice thing to do. Dom, I like photo you, Just going to show you something quick there, Dom. Now, this is the Airfix 1 to 24 BF109G, I think. I think it's the G, I can't remember. But guess oh, what? You're... Guess what? The nose cone doesn't fit on that either. Oh, it's the same problem. Yeah, and this is 124. How strange. Yeah, and have you this problem too here on the bottom side? One sec. Look this. Oh, yeah. I fill it up with uh, evergreen. Not quite. I, I, yeah. I, I must have built this about 30 years ago, this this 124. But no. But oh, yeah. You have the same problem. But the, 30 years ago, and you still haven't finished it. Well, I did. I did. This is the first one I put a propeller in, like a motor and all that lot. There's a, Inside the engine there. There is actually a motor. <laughs> well, didn't right. Edward, uh, didn't FX do that deliberately? They made it so you could put a. They did, but th there wasn't a motor with this kit, so I had to get my own one. And yeah. A charging port in here. Because they and they did that with the F6, didn't they? That's the charging port. The battery's already in there. Um, hmm. Whether the battery will charge anymore? In fact, I'm gonna have to get this charged up and put the propeller on. 
yeah, that could be another little project, that. But <laughs> I did. I love building this. Absolutely love building it. So, do the gear yeah. retract or are they? No, nah, that's all. That's all glued in because uh, yeah. this was hanging on my son's ceiling for a good fifteen years, and yeah. it fell off a few times. So that's all snapped in there. So I've just glued it in. Ah. So how strange though? A 124 got the same fit problem, exactly the same fit problem as that 132 yeah. by Asagawa. That yeah. Mm. The original is Asagawa, and you oh. buy it in this box. Yes. Yes, yes because um, <coughs> uh, Edward did that with a few Asagawa kits. I just reboxed it. They did it, did the same with the uh, one thirty two P forty seven as well. Mm. Yeah, I, a one thirty second scale is really nice to build. Yes, really nice size. I like I like the size and the build. Really cool. Yeah, that is a that's a nice kit. That is a you know nice size kit. But I'm just wondering yeah. how 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 two different model companies with two different scales can have exactly the same problem with the nose cone. Hmm. It's almost is, uh, You have uh, in the, uh, you can see it by Airfix too. Airfix have the malls, you know? Yeah. What the, what the company doing, she's sa she sailing the malls to another company. That yeah. company used the malls. The same malls. Does you have every time the same problem? Yeah, but these are two different scales, Dominic. Yours is 132, mine's 124. So all I can imagine oh, is... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Whoever was, yeah, whoever yeah, was okay. first has measured the model, taken all the measurements of it or whatever, and, and maybe scaled it up somehow so it's continued the problems with... The, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You, you have another, another brand and another scale. Uh, I have no idea what this, what then the problem is. I think maybe uh, she made the same mistake with the with the mall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Normally, if you know make an airplane, you have the left side and the right side. You click it together. You have little pins. Yeah, and then you click it together. This yeah. one had no pins in it. Right. I taped it and I glued it. Seems to be a, that's a strange omission, really. Yeah, but they knew who they were selling the model to a professional modeler, Dominique. <laughs> you could do anything. Yeah, I, I no, I'm not a professional modeler. I do what I can and do what I like. <laughs> yeah, same for all of us, mate. Well, wherever you're watching from tonight, I, welcome aboard. This is uh, my first stream this week. I've missed streaming. It's like being, it was like being back in YouTube prison. We haven't to work so much at the moment. Um, if you missed it earlier on, I've been busy at work all week. But the hotel that I work at is having a refit. So I'm working silly o'clock in the morning till silly o'clock at night. Um, I will be definitely doing uh, the Friday stream will always continue because it rolls over the weekend up in the morning. And I'll be trying to fit in a couple of more streams on a Saturday and a Sunday now uh, to make up for the lack of streams during the week. And I can only apologize. The refit's going to go on till uh, June, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll be doing my damnedest to get it finished off soon. Right. Thank you to all our new subscribers as well. We are hurtling towards the 1200 mark. In fact, let me just uh, have a see where we are right now. You never know, we might have gained one or two. No, still four, four subs away from the 1200 mark. But I'm happy where we are right now. And I'm, I'm happy that my friends have joined me tonight as well especially after me being away. I thought somebody might have kidnapped them for another channel. But thank you for joining me, guys. Uh, <coughs> I am honoured to have some of the Internet's finest modellers joining the stream this Friday night. And if you fancy joining in, anyone with a blue spanner can hit that link at the top of the chat in YouTube. Welcome aboard anyone watching on Instagram. Uh, sorry, Instagram's gone now because we've had our hour. Uh, Twitter, X, and Twitch, welcome aboard. Um, yeah, so... If you've got a blue spanner, you can hit that link at the top of YouTube and dive on in. I'm going to keep on going for a few hours tonight. Um, 
Lindsay's looking mighty happy with that ATST, as he rightly should be. <laughs> Just waiting for the glue to dry now, Lindsay. Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah, that side's nearly done. So with that Tamiya extra thin that you've been using, how long do you normally leave that before you start filling with it? About five. Five minutes. Five minutes, and then it's good and safe. Five minutes. So can you sand it as well after five minutes? Yes. I've just, I've just put some in this side now. I uh, did this a couple of minutes ago, so I'll wait another three or four minutes and then start sanding this, this side. So the stuff that uh, Lindsay's been using, by the way, is this stuff here. Is that the right stuff, Lynn? Quick yeah, setting. Tab, tab, tab your extra thin. Yeah, extra thin, quick setting, all right? No, nah, so this one. Using that to fill in some... That one. <laughs> okay, Scott, I got There we go. Hey, yours is a different colour bottle. Because mm, we're different. This is Tammy Extra Thin. Yeah. And that's Tammy Extra Thin Quick Setting. Ah, right. So was yours not quick setting then, Liz? Uh, mine is uh, Tammy Extra Thin Cement. All right, so it's not the quick setting one, but still dries in five minutes. That's pretty good. <coughs> different colour lids. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> Different color lids too. <laughs> All right, okay. That's a lighter color green. It. I tell you, since discovering the extra thin when I first joined you guys in streaming, I've not stopped using it. It really is a godsend of a product. Now that I know how to use it, I think I the best part of it is how quick it sets because you can just crack on with your model. Well, I picked that up uh, last week in the week. SMS extra thin. Mm. Hang on, Scott. Hold it up again. I've never seen that here. I've never seen that before either. The uh, label, looked like, the label looked like it was printed on a home inkjet printer. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're a, um, uh, an Australian company, another Australian company. They do ah, paints, right, okay. they do airbrushes, uh, sanding sticks, uh, do a whole range of stuff. There's a lot of little homebrew Australian companies popping up. It's just like, um, what's that paint that everyone started to use now? What's it called? Outlaw. Outlaws. Because their labels as well look like they've been printed on a home inkjet printer. But that's what you expect when it's a, a startup company that's just trying to make inroads. Mm. But everyone's impressed with their paint. I can't wait to get my hands on some. Can you get your mate to send me some, Scott? Yeah, I'm still waiting for mine to, to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to quickly catch up with some chat right now. Thanks for that, Lindsay, by the way. Yeah, no worries. Right, where were we at with the chat? Okay, Crafting Budgie Mama did that one. Well, uh, Stephen Haynes' model says hi, uh, uh, Tony. Says, slowly but surely, CJ, I'll get there. How are you doing? Uh, Tony says, hey, Stephen. Crafty Budgie Mama says, I'm watching from Pluto. <laughs> no, you're watching from Carl's channel. I know where you're watching that. Um, Ethel McNichol says, Pluto is free catch-up TV from years ago. So was Terry that handsome years back? <laughs> At Crafty but Yeah, of course I was. <laughs> so thanks for that apple a proper fan now. <laughs> what are you after apple <laughs> as soon as he gets his webcam set up he's coming on mate uh, i'm gonna go to carl because he looks like he's finally doing something interesting <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's carl. so funny Okay, you're building some kind of box. What is it? It's some kind oh, of box. Is that the cab for that wagon? The cab? Yeah. yeah. No, that's not a cab. That's the tray, the bag. Ah, okay. The crane. So let's oh, explain God. to people what's going on. There is a group build going on amongst the guys at the minute, uh, and it's like a 1950s wagon or something. It's 
Carl's going to show us. There we go. So when when does the Bedford date from then, Carl? Do we know? Oh, well, Second World War. The Second World War. Yeah. They, went, they finished. I think they finished in the sixties, didn't they, Lindsay? Sorry. Was it the sixties they finished with them? Yes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, they brought the TK out. Uh, I think it was 69. And it started like 39. Yeah. Okay. So the rest the of the guys on the group build are well ahead of Carl. So Carl's doing a bit of catching up right now. Uh, if you if you don't know about Carl's channel and his abilities, he's a very very fast builder. And that doesn't take anything away from the quality of the modelling that he does, um, because I've shown stuff on this channel before that is just outstanding. With my engine at the minute. Think you're gonna need your hand behind that or something, Carl. Broom, broom. But don't panic if you can't see the detail on this guy's at home. Uh, Carl will end up sending me some photos at some point so I can show them off. Yeah, so that's what I'm on with. In fact, I'm going to show everyone the kind of stuff you do. Um, let me get my email out. Did you get that email in the end? I am. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, got them here. Download all attachments as a zip file. Here we go. I was hoping there was enough time before the stream started tonight to put them into a little movie for you, mate. But uh, mm -hmm. there wasn't, so I might do that now, actually. Um, downloads. Where are you going? Downloads. These are amazing pictures. Extract here. Do 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 There we go. Do 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 <laughs> I had a mouthful of curry when I got home tonight. <laughs> ah, look at these. Well, let's get a look at these then. Curry, e Lindsay, Scott, <laughs> Dominique, Michelle, Carl, who else? That's it. Well, I can already tell you figured out how to take pictures, uh, Carl. Sorry? Carl's figured out how to take pictures on his iPhone. Oh, these are great quality. I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. Look at that, baby. So that's the kind of quality stuff that uh, Carl does. Loving the sand between the tyres, tyre tracks. Look at that. Bob, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, I see it. Outstanding. Well, that's, uh, well Tommy of 135 Willie's Jeep. I mean, chocolate. That's a potential <laughs> bomb on where Jerry comes. <laughs> oh, oh. <clears throat> Kyle, that's yeah, Ethel wants his. Hmm? Ethel wants his. Mm, I've just eaten that apple. Sorry, mate. Ugh. Holy mother of God, look at that. That's the SES thing, Panther from Tamir. The SAS. They went out of service in the 80s. Land Rover long wheelbase. And how long did it take? They would go on patrol for weeks on end. <coughs> a bit of that stowage is uh, scratch built from tissue That's paper and cheese cloth. That's outstanding. <coughs> That's IPMS grade. 
there's even uh, chains on the more on the smoke grenades i put chains on the caps so lindsay you know black, so little black, black caps in the bottom corners yeah 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 there's chains on them crafting mudgy mama's joined us hey natasha hello. Hello. hello how are you all doing really well thank you uh, for those watching in natasha is a lady that has been brought into the plastic modeling world under the stewardship of uh penny's pit stop been helping her out build a few models uh how are you finding it uh natasha the tank i've done a couple of mistakes my carpets at them <laughs> and i tried looking for them and i gave up the other day and i hoovered them it happens to us all natasha it really but does happen i'm to just us gonna all. say it's been bombed that tank i tell you been in the war <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. But, hey, we've all made a, you know, we've all done it. We've all dropped stuff on the on the floor, you know. Uh, so <laughs> the carpet monkeys in in my shed must have a right stash, I tell you. Johnny, oh yeah. I flashed them. The lime go fast. Mm. Yeah. Is that for you, Dom? What? Uh, we got, we got, we got Fion joining us. Uh, hey, Fion, welcome. Right, I'm just going to go back to Carl's pictures for a moment, Tash. Um, no problem. I'm just here. So I was asking Lindsay because Lindsay knows about this kind of stuff. Um, so, what would be the differences between? something that would win an ipms show to what carl is doing with that with the amount of detail <laughs> well that would uh that would be uh I, I, IMPS material because that's right. the sort of thing they go for when they're judging or weathered and all that kind of thing on it and everything else they See, that's exactly what i was thinking they wouldn't consider just a plain build right mm. so the hyper detailing on that is just awesome yeah, yeah. carl what I did you use for the chain on the front mate uh, jewelry chain my head's swelling now no, it's, it's true though carl you, I, I don't think you're aware of the skill that you've got you know mm. dom will tell you the same you know dom's done some stunning dioramas that are ipms worthy um same as some of the other guys so but that to me that that's amazing work let me bring up some more pictures here well next next month that's a year i've been doing it let me bring this one up there we go so you just saw it close up and uh, you know it, it just pops it's just incredible what I, what I did do a bit different there is i put green paint underneath the I put when I chipped it I've done aluminium because obviously it's a Land Rover but then I put green paint because when they were shipped out they were all bronze green and then yeah. they painted them pink out in the field you did the <laughs> biggest of that as well didn't you Carl I bought them separate yeah right absolutely stunning there you go Ah, oh, naughty. Yeah, this is Tamaya kit, right? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh, wow. 1974, yeah. I think it's from. Wow. Kit. Hang on a minute. Let me just make this big, bigger. There we go. Wow. that's outrageous yeah they cut the bars out of the out of the drill so it yeah, came down and they put uh reinforcing in for ammunition uh sorry for deflection of bullets again for the faces and the beards and all that lot that's all acrylics yeah or did you use oils no i don't have any oils just use acrylics holy jesus Because the wash I've used on that is the new one. That's the first time I used it. It's a clay wash. Which 
just clay and water. Yeah. Who was it started using oils the other day? Was it Sprue? Sprue, Spru, yeah. Because without a doubt, the best face facial details and skin tones and stuff like that, it is from oils. I've not seen anything better on paper, but that's just absolutely stunning. Yeah, the problem with that is it's a bit shiny because I haven't matte coated it. The face anyway, the welcome, to the, welcome to the Carl Edwards show. Uh, I did put a link into the chat earlier on for Carl's channel. He's going to be doing more on his channel, so please head over there and show a bit of love and give him a subscribe. I'll put the channel in again in just a second. Let me just go there. Let me find my notepad. There it is. Carl Edwards. Amazing. Absolutely. And I, I hope you don't mind me showing them on my channel, mate. This is stuff that, mm. that you should really be sharing on your channel. Well, they are now. Thank you. I think uh, the most... Uh... I think the most I like out of my builds is probably the uh, sea dioramas with the ships uh, but also that uh, logging truck I did. Come on, Lindsay. <laughs> I know you're on that. <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, you've got pictures of them anyway. In the show I do, yeah, but <laughs> me trying to find them on it's going to be... <laughs> Hang on. But no, no, I, I, I ain't getting no builds on the bench. Okay, mate. No. I thought we'd no, start. I'm just saying, I'm just really saying they're, they're, they're probably my favourite favourite builds of it. Let me just uh, go back to my folders. Trying to find them now. It was on the show and tell, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I remember <laughs> it, yeah. 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 <laughs> Spruce says he's quitting model making after that work. No, he won't. We've got some comments <laughs> in now. Hang on. Um, Fion says, uh, Am I saying the name right? Fion? Fion um, says, A military museum could display that with pride. Damn right. Uh, both the Thank Jeep you. and the Land Rover are brilliant. Totally agree. Uh, Jeff Light says, Absolutely beautiful work, Carl. Uh, yeah. Jeff Light says, Totally agree, Fian. Um, and of course, Sprue. Sprue, your stuff, your stuff's as good as that, mate. Trust me. Uh, don't need to give up the modeling. That was incredible, though. My God. Give me 20 give years to catch up with that. Natasha. <laughs> do you think Carl's first <laughs> model was like that? I don't Natasha, know. That's, that's a year. Well, give me two years then and I'll catch up. That's definitely tough with material. I'll get there. Just going to take time learning it. No, I didn't. There you go then, Carl. We're going to have to get you to an IPMS show. Go for Scott for a minute. Let's go to Scott. Wow. <laughs> You see, if I if that had been me putting that decal on the nose cone, there would have been ripples and ridges all over the place. I've got three. Uh, I've got two of these kits. I've got this one and one that's yet to be built. Same kit. <laughs> Obviously, you're going to be doing a different livery. Mm -hmm. you, you said before that you're doing one Aussie Air Force on it. Well, I've done three, three of these kits. One's a two uh, P4, uh, P47M, which is the one I showed on Show and Tell. Yeah. Um, then I've got my local store to order me another kit, this kit in and while i was waiting for that which took a while six months then but just trying that uh, uh, i actually bought the kit from somewhere else and forgot about the shop until they called me saying that the, it's just turned up <laughs> all right hmm. so 
I do like building them because they're pretty easy to put together and they they're pretty fun. Ah. As well. So I didn't mind. Plus, you get extra spare parts too. <laughs> spare props. <Nice. laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I've done the stars on the dorsal. That one and that one. Do you know what gets me though? I'm always jealous when someone does a, a fairly large scale plane like that and ends up with no, no uh, glue line down the middle of the fuselage. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's the underside. Okay. The, the, the little glue line that is on a little thing you need sending, sending, sending. Yeah. Thing is, it would be odd of me. All my planes have got the glue line down the middle. I can, I can never get rid of the bloody things. I'll try my best with the, uh, the Sky Raider, though. Oh, come on in and play, bro. If the man's not feeling well, leave him alone. I don't keep sending me silly messages to you in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, Keith said as well. <laughs> uh, BL says looking nice. Uh, Jeff Light says great work, Scott. Totally agree. Decals can be some of the most finicky things to put on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at Terry? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be getting paranoid. <laughs> okay, you can see more of me if you want. I don't mind. I like the aircraft in the snow. Oh, thanks, Rob. Is that for me? <laughs> right, I better do something. I've, I've done the grills now, so I think I'll uh, paint them up a little bit. Bring the camera around. Excuse the dogs, sorry. Right, where am I going on the camera? There's my camera there. Gee, I'll do that and I'll hear <laughs> that. some phones going ding, ding. <laughs> I'm going to turn the bloody thing off. Put my big cutters away. this up because this is the uh, first method without using the flux so um, I think I will use flux oh, I can it down now. <laughs> is that just messages from Sprue coming through and Michelle and Scott and Lindsay. <laughs> We're doing a thing, man. <laughs> I've just put mine on silent, but I forgot I've got three other devices. <laughs> well, I can put mine on silent, it does make a noise. Uh, I thought Beale, mine was, but it just keeps pinging. Bill says decals have driven mad in the past. Uh, Athol says, uh, I see, according to uh, Facebook, Annie Nightingale from Radio 1 has died. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, she has. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Haynes' model says, hi, at Rob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got 16 people watching the channel from around the world right now. Welcome aboard, everyone. We are streaming as usual in Glorious 1080p to all of the platforms, apart from Facebook. I want to do Facebook, but can't be bothered. Maybe one day. 
then you'd be able to see the funny messages we've been getting. Terry, hello. Your uh, what's the name of that thing? Shuddering thing. Uh -huh. You need to clean it. He is the whole tip is black. No, I use uh, I use flux, so it doesn't matter. I need to clean it. Watch. Ta da. Just dip it in the flux and yeah. explain it to me. Yeah, okay. But it's not good for the machine. I'm just lazy. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> You're not good like that. I'm the world's laziest modeler. No, I have a little noise with rustling paper. <laughs> Oh, Grogu! 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 Natasha wins. Natasha's got Grogu! Hang on. You can't do this to us. You can't bring baby Gru <laughs> that, that out without... Hey, look at that. Uh, Is that going to be cross stitch or diamond dart? Um, diamond dart. So I'm setting up with him. So yeah. Cool. A choice out of oh, six, yeah. and I just went, yeah, him. <laughs> That's smart. It's a thirty by forty. So I hope it comes out okay. No, I'm sure it will, Tasha. I'll be fine, actually. It was one of my Christmas presents I was got by a friend. So, yeah. Well, now you've got that. the Star Wars thing running through my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a 30 before 40 at the minute. But I saw it out of six and I went, yeah, it's got to be him, hasn't it? Uh, I bet that sprue now commented. <laughs> yeah. Setting up for him now. You guys have a secret Facebook watch party? No. I'm not. They are. <laughs> Okay, so it must be feeling better. <laughs> uh, you see how well I can do this one, isn't it? <laughs> You'll be fine, Tash. Is it square or round? Or... You see, um, <laughs> it's round. Yeah, it'll be fine. Well, Tash is a load of them, Cheryl. Oh, I 
That's much clearer. Nice. I know why Sprue's not on tonight. I figured it out. It's because he's a big time YouTuber now. That's what it is. Yeah. He doesn't want to join us underlings. I said well, that about two hours ago. Sorry for stealing your lines, but the best lines always get repeated, Carl. <laughs> You won't want to mix with you, mere mortals. Yeah, that's it. Or oh, us, mere mortals. Us underlings. Oh, but I'm happy for you, Sprue. I'm happy now you, you big, you, you've grown, you're bigger than us now. <laughs> Come on, do it. Sprue, Sprue, Sprue. Okay, I'm going to try fly on a blue spanner. Now it's been vouched for. Uh, keep spanner time. Brian, you, you are you've been vouched for, so you're about to get a blue spanner. Use it wisely. Uh, blue spanners can join us on the stream. Whenever we stream, that's if you're modelling and you've got something on your bench. Go back to comments. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to be ill, Sprint. Nope. Bad. And we've got 18 people watching from all around the world right now. Welcome aboard, everyone, wherever you're watching from, whether it be Instagram, uh, Twitch, X, uh, Twitter. Or YouTube, welcome aboard. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, joining us on tonight's stream, we've got Crafting Budgie Mama, that's Natasha. Uh, we've got Scott, we've got Dominique, we've got me, little history. Uh, Lindsay Flynn, my the godfather of internet modeling. Uh, and Carl Scale Modeling, who we showed some major, <laughs> major quality pictures of this stuff earlier. Yeah. Just to click back a bit if you have just joined us and, watch, and look at them because they're awesome. <clears throat> Almost sounded like a proper stream tonight. So, right, we'll get some paint on this. This is all ready for a little bit of paint. So, I'm going to do my usual undercoat of red brown. Got a glob of the bubble there, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Brown, where have you gone? And there you are. It's on the ship tied to the mast. <laughs> Brown. Oh, wow, I've missed the smell of paint this week. Making up for it now. Oh boy, am I. <laughs> Smell the name palm in the morning. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't listen to him, Spree. <laughs> nah, it also is the Spree. If you're poorly, you just stay away, mate. Now, the question is Is yeah, Spree sick or is Spree sick of Terry? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a bit harsh. It was, wasn't it? I thought that after I said it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think you should have kept me gob shut and not said that. <laughs> I've not been on all week and Carl has a go at me. Bloody <laughs> hell. I've behaved all week. Yeah, why didn't... <laughs> been on my best behaviour. I've been with the grown-ups. You scratched scratch Carl's nose for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I seriously have missed streaming this week. God damn. You've missed all the banter, haven't you, Terry? I have. I've even missed Sprue having a go at me every three seconds. Terry. What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping your end up for you, Sprue. Who is this? get pissed off and leave it. He'll come on and do it properly. Over the last month, looking at my bench, you'll have a fear. You've got a messy bench. Johnny. Quiet, I'll do some more chat in a minute. Hang on. The Wimbles of Wimbledon, calm and are we? What did Ron go anyway? Did he say, did he say he'd be popping in tonight? Who? Ron. Uncle Greg. Oh, he was in. Yeah, he was in chat. I don't know if he's coming in. He passed his bedtime now, right? He's normally off by nine o'clock, isn't he? Look at that. Beautiful. Let that dry a bit. Get the second coat on. Boom. <laughs> oh, just three subscribers away from 1,200 now. Nice. I'm guessing that's the best one. subscribers, thank you so much. <laughs> and welcome to the game. Uh, Athol says, so Michelle, by Carl's admission, just now on live YouTube, does that mean on normal weeks he can still be a rebel rouser? I'm missing something. I can still be a... Yeah, all right, pain in your ass, Michelle, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Right, coffee. Oh, it's, after, it's after nine o'clock, I can say arse. It's not here. Am I allowed to, Terry? <laughs> Do whatever you want, mate. Oh, yeah. oh, you got to say bottom. 
Lucius Maximus. Lucius Maximus, yeah. I know the YouTube rule book inside out now, so I'm going to fight my corner every time they try and demonetize me. Best way. Let's be thinking of starting up a second channel, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Fire, I hope I'm saying the name right. Fion says, uh, "Sorry, I wasn't heading away myself just yet. Uh, just saying good night to Spree." Apple says, uh, "Oh, sorry, night Spree, sweet dreams." Yeah, tell me about it, Fire. <laughs> I've been at the, the rough end of the YouTube bots. Um, I'm going to watch uh, Natasha for a little while. Let's uh, flick over to Natasha. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I'm doing. So this is how you do this diamond art stuff. Yeah, till I drop one and shake the hand. So do you glue them in or, or do they just stick in on little pins or something? It's already got like uh, glue on it, so you just stick them on, colour by colour. It's like they've all got their own code, which is over here. It's like painting so, by numbers, Harry. Yeah, and then the bags, you follow by the number and the symbol. So what's what's the like? You know, what would something like that cost you to buy in the shop, sir? Oh, could be quite cheap if you go somewhere like Amazon, eBay. Yeah, Emu, it's even cheaper. Emu, you can AliExpress. What we're talking like 20, 20 30 quid? Four or five quid. Four or five, really? five quid. Yep. Wow. It's not expensive at all. You can go. So to if you go for like customs, <laughs> obviously you want to go a bit bigger with them, as I do. So. I finished Hulk, and then I finished my owl one today, a wooden one. But yeah, they're not expensive. The bigger the size, the, the dearer it gets. You're about to do some spraying, uh, Dom. Uh, no, I I am ready for tomorrow for uh, airbrushing. Ah, okay. I I taped everything off and I do that tomorrow. I do that not in the evenings. And then I can yeah. spray this in the right color. That's this color. Yeah. A little bit mm. green. And this color is for the bottom. Nice. That is for uh, tomorrow. Awesome, mate. I've, I have to say, I do like the 1090s. Now I'm looking on my PC to a uh, little stuff that I need for uh, uh, for spare. It's good. Dig out the box for my measure smith because I can't remember if it was a G or me. Ah, oh, mine was a B as well, Scott. Hmm? What? My measure smith, the one I showed earlier, that was an E as well, not a G. Oh, right. The nose looked a bit round and looked like it was a, it might have been a G6. Yeah, that's what I thought. How weird. The extra thin out again. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Dom Ethel says that looks like the Measure Smith Adolf Galand used to fly. Oh, uh, I don't know. For the uninitiated, Adolf Galand was a World War II fighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it, it I, I don't done. know. Uh, uh, this inclusive, uh, I have a little figure with the uh, kit. Uh, Russian figure is included. According to the internet, Adolf Galand flew numerous different models of BF-109. It's a little one thirty second scale figure for the airplane. It's not for in the airplane, but for next to the airplane. And I use it, but I make a, a diorama of it, a crashed airplane on the beach apparently according to the internet again a guy called eric hartman was the most successful world war ii pilot he flew really? over 1400 missions in the measure wow. 109 enabling him to score an astonishing 322 kills wow what a murder rate Learn something new every day. We try, we do try on the little history channel. A little bit of history, a little bit of modeling. More modeling yep. and more hammer than history, though, <laughs> recently. Harry, look at the benches. Where's the war hammer? <laughs> oh, good point. The first three right. months with no war hammer. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice addition, that um, Bob. <laughs> what did you say? No war hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't a challenge, Lindsay. Bye, Hammer. I'm thinking now. I'm wondering which was the most successful World War II aircraft. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'll go. I'll do the top eight most successful World War II aircraft. Number eight, uh, Republic P 47D Thunderbolt. Number seven, the North American P-51D Mustang. I don't know what they're judging this on. I'll do a bit more research in a minute. Number six, the Mitsubishi A6M0. Well, yeah, a suicide plane's always got more chance of being successful, haven't it? <laughs> number five, the Me number five, surprising, uh, the Measure Smith the F-109, uh, the K version. Uh, number four, the Lockheed P-38J Lightning. Where have they got that from? Hang on. Wow. Uh, number three, the Grumman FAF Bearcat. Uh, number two, I'd, I'd have to agree with this. What a blade. Uh, the Fock Wolf FW 190. And number one, the Chance for F4U Corsair. Now, what did they judge that on? Yeah. What have they judged it on? Because I didn't really like the um, Corsair much at the start, did they? they? Wow, they've got the Spitfire at number 10. Yeah. yeah. How did they judge this on? There was no mosquito in there. And I know for a fact that had the lowest loss rate of any aircraft in uh, World War II. Like, yeah, but it had a high, high finger count, didn't it? What's that car? High, high one. Another high finger count. Yo, you've got me again. Where are we going with that? Oh, you 
<laughs> Language, Timothy. Oh, you got me. Uh, for the uninitiated, I've built a uh, motorized mosquito full remote control, and I'm testing the motors and the propellers on it, and managed to slash my fingers. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank God Sprue isn't here. He put that clip up again. Um, right. Oh. You've just been pinged. Oh, crafty man. Sorry, I fell out. It's okay. I can't see what they've judged this one. You need to get that dog damn chicken boy. <laughs> I say boy. <laughs> I say boy. Have you ever seen that film, Food of the Gods? No. Like gigantic chickens and gigantic mice and uh, <laughs> No, but I used to watch the cartoon. <laughs> I'd agree with the Mustang. I wouldn't agree with the Zero at all. Oh, the Zero was pretty good at the start, but um, it sort of fell away later on once the Americans got better aircraft and whatnot. Biggest one of the biggest downfall is uh, tail planes used to fall off if they didn't win any great speed. I uh, I I going off. Uh, I see you in the next one. Oh, okay, okay Tom, Tom. Thank you for joining us, mate. Have a one, mate. Bye, yeah. Tom. No problem. Care, Tom. I go. Wa I go watching. Uh, I am not in the mood for modeling. Oh. <laughs> okay, mate. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Okay, mate. Don, okay, thanks for joining in, mate. See you again. Okay, bye-bye. Right, bye -bye. <laughs> That's all I was just said. Terry, that must have been an American poll. As you know, as you know them and us during the war years, they being over here before kicking off. <laughs> uh, Fields saying good night to Dom. Uh, Ted's cars and guitars. Hello, everyone. Hey, Ted. Welcome aboard, mate. Uh, Jeff Light, mate, Dominique. Take care, mate. Apple McNichol, mate. Dom, take care. Uh, Stephen Haynes Models. Hi, Ted's cars and guitars. Right, I'm still intrigued by this list. I don't know who's written this, but it's full of talk. So that's behind. I'm, I'm a fan of the Lockheed P 38. I think it's a lovely plane. But I wouldn't have put it in the top ten. We've got the bear cat in there. How how the bloody hell has that got in there? Yeah, well that was later right at the end of the war, wasn't it? It was. Hmm. I mean that would have saw more action in the Korean War than World War Two. Yeah, the, the only one I can't argue with here where they've got it is number two for the mm. Lockheed. But I, the, I easily would have, and not just because I'm a fan of the Lockheed, but I would have had Mosquito at number one. I would, absolutely. No two ways about it. Mm -hmm. It did every single one of its roles really well. And it, it, it had sort of like something crazy, like it 47 different roles during World War II, from reconnaissance to bomber to bo fighter bomber. It did it did the lot really well and make up one on one it could take out a fuck one five one nine. No no easy. And even if it if it decided not to fight it, it could outrun it in speed. Yes. Yes. So yeah, I have got to agree with that thought. This <laughs> this poll's either done by the Germans <laughs> or, or, or Americans though. Put him off again. Find a different one. Because that's just wrong. Let's find a poll that agrees with me. 
Yeah. I'm seeing lots of people who've got the BF109 at the spot. 109 at what spot? Number one. 109? Yeah, they're saying like the amount of different versions of it and, and you know, it's, it's with the well, not all throughout the lesson, because the Spitfire wasn't that early in the of it. Spitfire was what, 1930, 1940, 41 for the Battle of Britain? Oh, uh, no, 1936. 1936 for the first Spitfire, okay. Yeah. And then they changed. I think they just skipped the Mark twos, didn't they? The Mark one, and then it went straight to Mark five. Yeah, there's some dude here who's got the ME two six two at number one. You, 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 what, what, what are you thinking? They didn't make many of them. Most of them caught fire before they took off. <laughs> well, the engines gave out while they, yeah, while they're taking off. <laughs> Can't do that. Well, I can't find anyone who agrees with me with a mosquito at number one. Yes. <laughs> well, it's my channel. It's my opinion that counts. They can all get stuffed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more chat. Uh, 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 Jeff says hi, Ted. Fan says hi. Uh, Fan says regarding the zero, the Gloucester F. F534 missed opportunity for the pre early war area. Let me just look at that. Oh, you know about the Gloucester Meteor because that was in that was in service for sorry, it wasn't in ser service, but the design of it stretches back. 534 Gloucester F5. I had this argument before on this channel about the Meteor. The what? Oh, yeah, the meteors were in one. Oh, no, no, it's not the meteors. Yeah, five is different. Yeah. Oh, they've, they've, got, they've got one at Tamura, uh, Tamura Aviation Museum. Right. In um, New South Wales. Well, I'm um, impressed, Fion. I've never heard of this one. Hmm? Sorry, Scott. Go on. No. Yeah, hear. missed opportunity, yes. It was. The Gloucester F534 was a British fighter of the 1930s. It, no, wow. It was a single seat, single engine monoplane of all metal cantilever construction. In the carriage was a tail wheel type with retractable main wheels. The aircraft was developed for the Air Ministry specification F534, a fighter armed with eight machine guns and an air cooled engine that was well suited to operations in the tropics. The Gloucester design was overtaken by more capable competitors and the specification was later abandoned with none of the aircraft designs produced for it selected for entry entry into service Ooh. let's have a look at some of the specs on this beast then performance maximum speed 316 all right i'm going to compare this to the early spitfire right for when it first came in the Mark One, hang on. Right, Mark One. No worries, Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay's just stepped away for a little bit. Okay, Lindsay, no worries, mate. And yeah, um, I I went there back in two thousand and eight, right. and the and the media was flying around, and it just doesn't sound like a jet. It sounds totally different. If if you know seen the movies about the buzz bombs, yeah, yeah, that's like the, pretty much what it sounded like. Yeah, that's pretty much what it sounded like. Excuse you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking why they would have gone away from that F5 version early on. So origins, right, here we go. And I'm comparing it to the Mark One Spit because that was. What year was that? Nineteen thirty-one. So nineteen thirty-one. That's when the spit got designed. Um, Two 
24. It doesn't give you its initial speeds and stuff like that. Because a lot of it was about speed back then. Right, okay. Speed. Feel the need. Right, so when the first the first spit was 330 mile an hour. And that was 1931 32 so and the gloucester was 316 mile an hour so i mean they're kind of similar speeds when they were first out so yeah you're right what if Uh, Fion says, yes, the Meteor would have been a war winner if they could have brought it into service earlier. See, it always gets me why they didn't. I mean, the War Ministry are, are guilty of a lot of criminal acts in delaying really good aircraft. And again, the Mosquito was a typical example. They undenied over that for way too long. But the Meteor, yeah, that was in development before um, the ME262. They just dilly-dallied again. And it was the yes. Germans who, who, who beat them to the mark. I mean, crikey, if the Germans had brought the M ME 262 in just even a year earlier, uh, things might have ended up different. World War II, without a doubt. They'd have absolutely made mincemeat of all the bomber raids over Germany. I don't know if anybody else has got a different opinion in chat. Uh, we've still got 15 people with us. Welcome, oh. to everyone. If they had 30 millimeter cannons, it would have made mince meat out of anyone. Mm. Absolutely. But hey, I've got lasers on mine. <laughs> <laughs> right, that should be dried out. I'm going to stick some more paint on my uh, ubi doobries. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're about to watch paint dry. <laughs> Hey, Scott. Hey, Gamma. <laughs> hey, Carl. Shut <laughs> Oh, it's good to be back. I bet. Who told you that? Me. All right, come on. I can't get this paint to stick to the brass. Do you know why? I forgot to wash the bloody flux off. <laughs> That's a silly thing to do. Yes, it is. Especially That's when you told nice. everybody in chat that you should wash the flux off before you do anything. <laughs> <laughs> or was I imagining that? No, I said it when I was doing this. I've got to wash the flux off or the paint won't stick. <laughs> So I'm trying to mix the paint in with the flux now to make a nice little mulch of flux and paint. Lovely. I could cheat. I could wait till tomorrow and just spray it. Then I'm on a winner. So what do we think tomorrow to a, uh, a midday stream, guys? Or will that be like, that'll be one o'clock in the afternoon? Oh well, what time will that be in Australia? Midnight. At Eleven o'clock PM. Mm hmm Well that's that'll be just fine. Although wasn't Lindsay going? Oh Australia? is Lindsay going live tomorrow. If Lindsay's going live tomorrow, what bother? I, I I don't know. I, uh, I can't remember. No, he, said he might, but I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for rubbing it in, Apple. <laughs> Apple with, uh, and what was it Terry said earlier he had to do? I was wash the flux up, but forgot <laughs> I was too busy doing other things. Yeah, you're done right. And thanks for reminding me. <laughs> what would I just say? Uh, same scenario when I when I stashed my fingers open. Everyone in chat was, everyone in chat was screaming at me, but I didn't read it. Like, be careful, it's moving. <laughs> Numpty. 
Absolute numpty. Right, I'm going to go to. Um, go to Carl, because he looks like he's fiddling with something. Then we'll go to Natasha. What's Carl fiddling with there? I'm putting an engine together. You know, I think StreamYards are missing a trick here. Mm. Why? StreamYard should give out free gimbaled cameras to everyone on the StreamYard. Just little cheap ones, like, I don't know, five, six quid off, off, off team. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. And then give control of the person running the stream so the person running the stream can zoom in, pan round on the desks and stuff like that. So you'd have full control. Take the mic. <laughs> <laughs> have a laugh and then leave. So what's that bit you're doing there, Carl? I'm fitting the fan belt. Oh, sorry. I'm just fitting the fan, fan belt to the engine. Not if you can see it. And what is that? What's the truck called again? I keep on forgetting. It's a Bedford Wrecker recovery truck. Bedford Wrecker recovery truck. Yeah, so this is a group build. I think Lindsay's building it as well, isn't he? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing the. I'm doing that one. And so sprue. Right. But uh, the others are doing the. Bedford five ton drop side truck flatbed. And what what's the price of that kit, Carl? Uh, well, it depends where you get it from. I got lucky. I got I paid I think it was twenty seven pound for this one, right? And twenty two for the other okay. on flea bay. But they're heading up sixty quid plus now. Wow. wow. So the cheapest one I've seen lately is about 45, 50 quid. Right. The, the, we are up around the 60 pound mark. Yeah, after Christmas, the prices were stupid. High. And Lizzie was saying at Hobbycraft, they're up towards 60, 70 quid. Wow. And the, it's the first time I've ever used this plastic. I've never built a kit out of this before. Is that um, what you call it? Oh, oh, not OBS. ABS. Oh, what is it? You were on about it the other day, Terry. That what? He's not listening to me, is he? He's asking me questions yeah. and he's walked off and doing his own I thing. I haven't walked off. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> what he's, was he's that gone. plastic? What was that plastic you were on about? Plastic. The one you don't like working with. Oh, God, you've got me now. Hang on. It's called. It's called. Because I've got it on my thumbnail on one of my videos. I won't say ABS, but that's, that's no, not. No, it's not ABS. ABS. I know what you, exactly what you mean, hang on. Oh, ABS. Been... No. Is it ABS? Oh, God, what's it called? ASB or whatever. No, it's called. It's called. Hobby Boss. No. <laughs> it's called a pain in the ass. No, I got it in my videos. I did an unboxing of it, and it is called. It is called. It is called. ABS. <laughs> ABS. That's what Scott just said. Yeah. I thought he said MDF. <laughs> uh, that was Carl. <laughs> oh, I said oh, it's me. Anyway, <laughs> but it's made from that. Right. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever used it. Was it in the war? After the war, it was out. What, this truck. Yeah. It was. There was a lot of them used during the war. Right. It was pretty much the only truck you saw on the roads after the war. Oh, there was thousands of them on the roads. You look back at the old that. films. Just loads yeah. of them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, is that you Scott. watching Instagram? Uh, on Twitch. Yeah. 
No, 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 I haven't got a gown. Oh, who's watching on Twitch? The military ones. There was 72,000 of them made. Really? And 24,000 uh, civilians. Wow. <clears throat> That's when they uh, sold them all off after the war for haulage companies. Oh, really? Wasn't that what St. James drove in Hell Drivers? God, no, you don't like them. I remember that movie. It was hauling dynamite and stuff, wasn't it? Well, you've had a few views this morning on Twitch. Really? Yes. Know. You've had Emily, Lonely Girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear lord i love you i love you Scott. <laughs> i'll tell you a couple of them are, may have been bots <laughs> well i'm just thinking twitch thoughts hmm. <laughs> come on in ladies <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, your time is it? Wow, I've gone from three followers to seven followers on Twitch. Hey, <laughs> better than none. Oh, I now we're going in the right direction on the channel, guys. Uh, you know, thank you so much for joining me on these. It's when I get a ping on my phone during the day when I'm at work telling me that one of you guys has gone live. <laughs> I just get, oh, I just want to be at home. I want to join in. <laughs> well, we're all trying to do it during the day. So it just pings you at work. Wow. Natasha, you're a machine. Dot, dot, dot. That was rude. What? <laughs> what you just said. I just mean I, I just meant how fast she she she's doing it. No, oh dot 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 dot. <laughs> it was cold, wasn't it? Oh my. Your Michelle makes them as well, doesn't she? Yeah. She's doing exactly the same thing at the minute. Oh, you're doing the great one as well. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm doing dots, but I'm not doing a grow booth. Ah, right, okay. There you go. That's as far as I've done so far. It's coming on, though. It's a Star Wars one. I might get my mic to Just see if I can get yeah. you into it. I had to get nope. this one out, didn't I? I enjoy doing them, Terry. You get as well, all then. different types as well, can't you? And yeah, I've got tanks. Yeah, you can get all that. Thing is, I'm, a, I'm an old fashioned seventies manly man. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm in touch with my female side, but I think that would make me a little bit too much female. What Why? doing one of these? There's a lot of men that do them as well. Sparkly diamond art, isn't it? It's like... They're not sparkly. Ross does them. Loads of blokes do them online. Yeah. Ross has done loads. And he's a ninja. I'm not doing a poll. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually get loads of different ones that are male-orientated. Yep. Do you remember the picture of the dogs playing pool? No, playing cards. Playing pool. Yeah, yeah. Is that in dogs? Oh, I've got that. Mm -hmm. Cool. I've actually got a big clipper ship to do. No, like a pirate ship. All right. I am not. Happy with this 
Well, Terry can say what he wants. I don't give it. Yeah. <laughs> It is. When he's at work in the rain and the snow up on the roof. Just rub it in. Go on, I'll, me, it. I'll just sit in front of the fire and do oh. me dots. Yeah. Watching Star Wars. Well, well uh, I'll join you. One day if my channel ever gets big enough, I, <laughs> I, I'm going to quite happily check in work and just stream all day and you'll never get rid of me. Quick, everyone unsubscribe. <laughs> I didn't mean that, by the way. Please don't. <laughs> Scott, what were you showing us then? What time is it? Or is it the temperature? No, I was just time? showing the temp temperature. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, nearly 40 degrees over in Oz. Over in Tasmania. Oh, it's warmed up here. It's 10 degrees in the house. Mind you, well, I do I'm have a jacket on right now because it's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. What's the temperature outside, though? Has it gone up? We might have snow tonight. Temperature's gone up. No. Enjoy it. It's been minus temperatures all day. It's now plus three. It usually means snow. I need to plus three. What is a fire? Mm -hmm. Right, let's hop over to Lindsay. Oh, look at his ATST. Look at that. Wow. Was that an eBay special that? Uh, ATST lids. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. How much did they have your pants down for? Yeah. Um, I think it was about forty quid. That's a good price. That. I'm waiting for someone to say none of your business. <laughs> none of your bloody <laughs> business. I don't think it was any more than 40 quid. Oi, Terry, keep your big nose out. Yeah. Hey, Freaky, get off and milk it. <laughs> <laughs> spruce, spruce, spruce! More chat coming in, incoming. Yeah, I'm looking at um, this one at the moment. Oh, what's that? Demos pattern predator spot, predator, oh, Warhammer. Yeah. Oh, we were doing so well. <laughs> it's a tank, Terry. I know. <laughs> Just in case you've forgotten what they were, you've got like many different options for the turret. You can put Five. lasers on that, sorry. You've got the heavy conversion beam cannon, execution of plasma destroyer, flame storm cannon, magnum melt cannon, and a neutron blaster. <coughs> Five different types. Wow. Tom, I'm finished with all this Warhammer and other bits and pieces. I can make a lot of food. Is that going to be your next build then, Liz? Uh, probably will be after the uh, Doom side. Yeah. My next, be my next Warhammer project. <laughs> The Doom side's not far enough being finished, actually, Terry. 
Right. Mm. It's, uh, I don't know whether you've seen it because you've been away all week, haven't you? I have, yeah. but I will be catching up this weekend with everyone else's channels. I'll just swap cameras. Oh, look at that. Nice. You weren't happy with the green last time, though, were you? I took, I took, I took it out. Yeah, that's the underneath of it. So nice, Lindsay. Yeah, yeah that's that's awesome. Uh, so, Fayel says, seems like it will be snowing over here in Ireland as well as in the next few days or sooner. Uh, says, the Empire often has the best toys. I've got to agree with that. And that's the Marama bottom. Wow. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Lego Imperialis from the Emperor of Mankind. Diane says, the sentence before that refers to Star Wars to avoid any possible confusion. <laughs> yeah, a watermelon for a minute. Fire says, at a meant Legion Imperialis. So, let's split these up again. Boom. There we go. Boom. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we'll get to half 10, 11 tonight, guys. Yeah. Well, just... That's okay. Because it's getting seriously cold in this shed right now. Oh. That actually, I can show you a picture of a what, what if field I've found on Facebook mm -hmm. in one of the groups. Okay, let's go Lindsay Big. Yeah, I've got five this here. Do 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 do. Kind of gave ins inspiration. Found this on mm -hmm. Facebook in one of the groups. I think it was Starship Modelers. You can it's see. Careful, you're not showing us your personal information, Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's a nice yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not my build, by the way. It's one I found on Facebook. It's one of mine. <laughs> uh, it's been made out of 109, hasn't it? Did they give it yeah. a name? I can probably look it up yeah. on here and get some uh, high res. Oh, that's cracking, that is. It is. So what have they used for the nose code? I think he's used... Yeah, it's actually the BF109, isn't it? And that's the, the front part of it without the prop. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely awesome. So I wonder who gave him the idea for that ME262 in Rebel Alliance colours. <laughs> yeah, because I think the side pieces are off uh, Interceptor, aren't they? I'll look at it. Sorry, Mac, what's that? I'm just looking it up now. I think the actual panels on the sides are from uh, Interceptor. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I like how he's I like how he's attached it all. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, an interceptor that. There. Yeah, rough. There. That's where I'm turning rust and stuff on it. And it's definitely oh, on the one oh nine nose. Yeah. I shared the same thing on Facebook. Oh, I don't know if it's just the same one or not. So I'm just mm -hmm. having a look to see if it is. What time is it wrong? If it is, just share the screen. We'll get some high reses up. I won't mind seeing that. Yeah. 
Well, if I send it to Carl, Carl can email it to you, can't he? Okay. Thank God, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Carl, what are you doing to us now? Oh, wow. Lindsay? Wow. Oh, Lindsay, take a look at that. That absolutely pops. Wow. Yes. Still got me guns to do underneath. You look like you're going to throw it. <laughs> Looks smart, doesn't it? I, I yes. really want to... I really want to put the wings on backwards. Very reminiscent of so many different things, though. There it is. Yeah, it reminds me of a crab. It does as well, doesn't it? Makes just like the body off a crab. It does. That's what you I thought. Off, get a flash to uh, let's have a look. Athol says uh, two degrees C. Rain turning to snow as temp temperatures drop to minus six inland. Time to go back. Wow. Field and attach two sheep to you on the back. <laughs> what was that? Bio says Necron's on the starboard bow. <laughs> Necron's on the starboard bow. Starboard bow. Oh, can I get you? Oh, there we go. Is that the same thing, Lindsay? Yeah. So it's like my honeymoon, that Athol. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah. Beautiful. See, that's uh, where the prop would be. Yeah. Um, wow. nice. That's a really good kit bash, that. Oh, he's, the, he's, he's absolutely done an amazing job on it, hasn't he? Yeah, like you have to have a world of confidence to be able to uh, destroy a model just to do that. Well, there's easy, easily there's 70, 80 quid with a model there. Yeah. Is this that website? Is that them photos? <laughs> yeah, uh, Facebook. Yeah, I won't bother them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can stick lasers in that. <laughs> Especially right there. Wow, look Terry. at that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing job. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's nice. You never know, someone might release that as a kit. <laughs> you see where he's got those wings attached, that's a screw and a wall plug. It won't let huh? me go back. So. Oh, it is a wall plug. Oh, my God. How clever is that? Oh, it is too, yeah. That's a drywall plug, isn't it? It is, yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolute genius. He's already broken it now with the little pins midway up. The little pins, he's broken a little pin off the left hand side. <laughs> uh, awesome, that's so cool. That looks really good. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, Terry. No worries. There's someone that comes in your chat a lot. Go uh, for it painting. Yeah. I've seen his stuff. Look. Brilliant. Hey? Eh? He sent me photos before of his stuff. Just absolutely outstanding. Was that not to boldly go? No, it was uh, go for it painting. I, in fact, I can bring the pictures if you want. I was going to say, he's done a Star Destroyer scratch build. Uh, it's on his web page. My Facebook. Uh, you know what I mean. YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I downloaded them to my computer already. Let me find them. Take me a minute. You'll like these. I think I've showed you them anyway. I'm pretty sure. Mm. I thought they were James's. 
No, go for it painting. Because he wanted to go for it painting and to some of his stuff into a competition. So he does a lot of Warhammer figures and stuff like that. Wherever I put them. In fact, I think his logo's a little miniature. That's not it. Oh, where have I put them? Oh, I wish I wasn't so disorganised. Mm -hmm. My computer's actually full of Carl's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Diorama. Not a show. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, no, he didn't send me pictures. He sent me links to his uh, channel. Ah. But without him being here, I can't. I can't put his stuff on here. Okay, now Patreon will send me if you'd like to support me, please choose one of my old videos and share it with Patreon groups. Thank you. All right, okay. But I can't actually show you those without his permission. Well, are you on his channel? You are. No, no, he sent me an email with links to um, some videos that were in private on his channel before he put them out. Um, no, Apple. Oh, Apple, leave it as. Take care, Athol. Thanks for thanks for joining us, mate. Keep warm. Pleasure. Hey, Athol. There's a bunch uh, of sheep around. Uh, first of all, uh, have a safe one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, after he phoned he's off to find some sheep, isn't he? <laughs> I got something in the field to keep me warm at night. Just throw sure something here in. <laughs> so what scale do you think that BF109 is that he's using? 132. Yeah. 132. Like I say, individual kits for those, you're talking 40, 50 quid each, aren't you? Yeah. So he's basically mm. burnt almost 100 quid to do, do the thing, but well worth it because it came out well. Mm. But I'd be, I would actually be scared to do that in case it came out crap and I've wasted 100 quid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd rather wait until I've got loads of spare bits from loads of different aircraft. Cause... Yeah, that's the sort of thing you want to leave for Lindsay or Sprue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like a red rag to a bull, that. <laughs> in my Facebook group he does he, he does all what it feels doesn't do anything else but what it see if I can pull one I hope he doesn't mind yeah we just got to be careful about showing other people's stuff without their permission yeah because if they're a YouTuber as well they could very easily uh, copyright strike me or claim the video because what happens is if you show somebody else's YouTube channel or stuff that they've put out on uh, well, YouTube they can claim your entire video so that's our four hours gone so just uh, careful mate if it's just an image and we're doing a um, critique of the image of the model then that's fine but, but you're certainly not um not allowed mm. when well he's joined us i think it was the mention well, of the sheep. channel must have finished what is, <laughs> what is this one finished <laughs> all right well, I'll... wayne hope you well <laughs> Uh, 
10 minutes to go. Right. But we missed you, mate. Hey, go on. So I'm a bit slow. Morning, Scott. Anyway, miss it, Wayne. Uh, Apple's just gone off to uh, find a couple of your lady friends to keep him warm tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to read up in chat now to see what I'm on about. He's not sharing. Shearing. I've just seen your private chat, Scott. <laughs> You're right. Oh, Wayne, I was only kidding, mate. I was saying earlier on, I've missed you guys this week. I really am so busy at work. It's just nuts. The amount of stuff they're chucking out is just unbelievable. Bed frames, furniture, TVs, everything's going in a skip. It's just nuts. Crazy. Uh, what, you're not recycling any of it? Like, Given it's where they take the skip, so all the electronic stuff goes in, a, they all separate it out. But <sighs> it's cheaper for the company just to skip it rather than get a company in that charges you for recycling the electronics and that. All oh, right, there's always the danger if we decide to, like, say, sell off the TVs. And oh, we'll we'll give the money to charity. But if anything happens, like if the, if someone buys a TV, they put it in their house, and their house catches fire because the TV's really old and mm. whatever, mm. we we can uh, then become liable. Yeah, I can't find it. It's well buried. Okay, mate. Thing is, I've got they can, they can put the skip out the front, put all the electronics in it, and within 10 minutes, the skip will be empty, and then you just keep putting it in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, that only happens in London. Oh, <laughs> anyway. skip wraps all over the country. <laughs> I mean, even I've been past a skip on the other occasion, and, and oh, that's a nice bit of timber that's coming away. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. I've taken a, de a broken desk out of one. An oak one. Oh, Wayne, you're making me want to stay on longer now. Uh, I'm also I'm off to have a nice hot shower, then it's bed. That wake me up. I mean, I don't need a shower tonight, luckily. I mean, one of my adventures today at work was a blocked macerator in the gents' staff toilets, which is always a pleasure to unblock. Because, Carl, you'll know this, you have to take the macerator completely apart to unblock it. And usually the macerator is full of everybody's poo. Oh, great. That's a sh crap job. <laughs> <laughs> I got covered in it, as I always do. So I had to get myself a shower. It's full of it, as we all know. <laughs> Thank you, Spring. 
So you had to put up with everyone's shh today. <laughs> and then you come on here and you go, us. No, it is the worst <laughs> job of a maintenance man. It is. The, I can't think of anything worse than doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've, I've, I've only ever dealt with new ones. Lindsay, it's up to you, mate. Lindsay, what time are we finishing? Ah, oh, we'll finish about midnight and then, yeah. Okay, midnight then. Terry. <laughs> Wait, we're staying on to midnight if you want to dive in, mate. Hmm? What am I looking at? Oh, put you on big. Terry, what? What have you put me on big for? I thought you were going to show us something. No, I say I was saying to you, you wanted to ask Lindsay about tomorrow. Oh, are you, are you uh, streaming tomorrow, Lindsay? Yeah, it'll be. Uh, I'm on during the day, and then I'm on at seven o'clock tomorrow night with uh, DS, Horlix, uh, Sprue, and Carl. Oh, cool! I don't have to stream then. I'll stream on Sunday. I'll do. I'll do a big stream on Sunday then, if no one's got anything going on. I mean, tomorrow morning I'll only be an hour, hour and a half. Oh, you do it tomorrow morning? No, I'm doing I'm doing a single stream in the morning, right? And then I'm on the big Bedford build at night time, seven p.m. All right. So if I go on about one p.m. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll I'll, I'll drop a stream at one p.m. tomorrow then. <laughs> Uh, Wayne's well, just said, I'm at my bench table uh, doing some painting on guess what? Yeah, it's going to be Warhammer. And now he said he's off to bed now. Oh. Okay, well, we were only going to stay up till 12 if you were going to join us, Wayne. See <laughs> what I did there? See what I did there? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we shall await Wayne's reply. Come on, Wayne boy. Oh, you know you want to join us. Free sheep is here. Joining, he's joining now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have we got any wool? Let me wave some wool at the camera. <laughs> you can just do what I do, Wayne, and ignore him. The <laughs> <laughs> thing is, once, <laughs> once you're in here, Wayne, I, I can't ignore you. <laughs> He's joining now. Hang on, he's coming. He's coming. I think this is ready for its first coat of wine, I think. Come on, Wayne. Wayne can't resist, can he? Wayne, come to your little blue men. Wayne, come to your little blue men. Ooh. Da, 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 da. There you go. Do you think the stormtrooper are attracted? He's probably chuntering now. I just put my stuff away. Now you're making me go till 12 o'clock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ray, Ray. welcome to the stage all the way from a part of the United Kingdom. In the deep dark forests of Wales, it is the one and only Wayne Welly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, look, it's Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say you're the first Warhammer of the evening, Wayne, but you're not because the guys have been bringing it out little bit by little bit all night tonight. Yeah. Nothing wrong Good with Good evening, Warhammer. Wayne. Okay, guys. Yeah, right. We were getting concerned about you not seeing you all week. That's why I've popped in on others. That's a nice Gatling gun. <laughs> is that the same robot you dude that Carl's got? No, this is a dreadnought. Ah. There's a wee bit of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. 
Robocop, yeah? Let's watch the master at work, baby. We'll go back to Carl then. <laughs> yeah. My the legs on mine are four inches off the base. Well, let's no, give you some facts and figures on tonight's stream. Right, off we go. So, so far, we've had 78 views on tonight's stream. We've had concurrent viewers of 22, the total viewers of 23, which is really good. Thank you. And we're now going to go through till midnight. Yep. Not my fault. Uh, Fiam uh, from Ireland says, uh, for the Imperium of Man. <laughs> yeah, this won't be a 40k colour. You're just going to do it how you want it. Yeah, I'm going to use the Retributor armor color. Right. Do you put anything over that, Wayne? What's that? Well, your Retributor. When you when you put that on and finished with it, what do you do with it next? Just display it. But you don't put any highlights over it or anything. Well, I'm going to stick to doing the black as like the base coat. So I've got a bit of paint to stick to. I'm going to do the main body as the retributor. And then I'm wondering what to do the highlights in. Because if, like, if you do the retributor armor, you can cover it in Gulliman flesh. Which is like a contrast colour. You can cover yeah. it in that, and that dulls it right down. And then you can go back over it with your retributor armour to bring out your flat spots and everything to make it shiny. And then get some like Corax bronze to do all the edge highlights. Because hmm. I've got the paint set for the Stormcast. Uh huh. So. I'm, I don't know if those colours are in on that set. They won't be. They're uh, extras. We well, can't. You can use Liberator Gold as a highlight. Unless I've already picked it up because I bought the. Um, Dominion box and I asked the guy in the shop if I, what colours I needed for it I need to do an inventory check on my paints really Now you swear now you're swearing at me. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna flip to Natasha for a moment. Let's see how much I've done. Yeah, look at that. Oh baby Yoda. Yeah. It's not Baby Yoda. It's Yoda. Grogu. Yeah, Grogu is uh, Baby Yoda. 
it's after it's after Yoda died. Well, as I've done so far. Cracking on, though, Tash. I'm trying. Reincarnation, eh? Oh, no. They're making a Mandalorian second. movie now, aren't they? Hey? hey? They're going to be making a Mandalorian movie, standalone oh, movie. Oh, are they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think they called the same actor in to do it. Oh. I follow no, a YouTube channel called really. The Critical Drinker. He does uh, movie reviews and stuff like that. And he did a, a massive live stream the other night. Um, where they're all really getting hyped up about it. Ah, oh, so they're all wanting it then. Something for me to keep an eye out for then? Oh, yeah. Is it going to be this year or next? I don't know. I'll have a, I'll have a search in a moment. Probably next year, I'd assume. Mm. Uh, Fire in chat says... Uh, let me go highlight this. Uh, and it's for Wayne and asking if it's a custom chapter you're doing. Yes, I am. I'm going to do it in like the Age of Sigma colours. You get three different types of factions with that, don't you, Wayne? Yeah. I prefer Age of Sigma are over 40k at the moment. Yeah. Good. Good lot. He's a good lot that way, you know, I can. <laughs> You're all Warhammer tarts. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think he meant anything by that, Tash. No, I know. Oh. What's that? He's calling us war amateurs. He forgot he had other people. <laughs> hey, since when do I pay attention to my streams? <laughs> <laughs> Snowy's joined us in chat. Snowy, get your ass in here. Hey, Snowy. There you go, man. Oh, Snowy. Oh, Did you get it? Did you get it? Yes. Great. No. <laughs> <laughs> could be taken the wrong way. <laughs> that, that could be taken many ways. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to wait for next Tuesday or Wednesday and pick up that issue. Ping. Ladies and gentlemen from the United States of America, would you please welcome to the stage the one and only Snowy. Snowy. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, mate. Uh, now, what were you asking if I got... <laughs> Warhammer. Well, weren't you nipping past the shop on the way home? Yeah, I nipped at the shop. They did not have it. Uh. Oh. Uh. So I'm still playing with the, the itty bitty stuff. <laughs> Come on, focus in. Yeah, eight millimeter Space Marines. Wow. <laughs> and what do they look like on the screws? Uh, he doesn't know. He can't see. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's no uh, building involved. No. 
That's crap. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I, I did yeah, it because I wanted, I wanted these. This is your opinion. <laughs> I wanted. I wanted the Titans and everything. I wanted the Titans, the tanks, and the airplanes. I could care less about the actual Space Marines themselves. I would rather do if you had to do some building on those Marines. Uh, Even if it was just putting the arms together and a head on. Oh God! I uh, no, there's. I would not want to put a head on an eight millimeter model. I would. Uh, you must. Uh, you like to torture yourself, don't you? Well, if you're going to build something, at least build something with the kit. Oh, these are. Well, this came in uh, the full set with everything to play the game. Yeah, it's like a hundred and yeah. What was it? No, in Firestorm, um, hundred and twenty. I think the starter set. Yeah, I'd have to look it up. I can't remember what I paid for it. Probably a lot more. Yeah, I can't remember what it, how much it was. But then again, I got so much resin and plastic right now to deal with. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> At least now I got my first piece of scenery for Age of Sigmar as well. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I thought about a kit bash for Age of Sigmar, but None of that stuff is available right now that I want. I couldn't find it at the store, so I was like, all right, fine. Well, I found that, Snowy. No, let's do that one. So how you been, Fenris, mate? Doing good. Um... Monday, I go back to night shift. So I'll be going in at 5 o'clock and getting out about 1.30 in the morning. Right. Uh, nice. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You sound it. What's the little orange spanner you've got there? An orange spanner. <laughs> Ask an obvious question, get an obvious answer. <laughs> Jeff White says the Mandalorian is the best spin off of Star Wars by far. I completely agree, mate. I 100% completely agree with that. Yeah. Yes. I can't um, agree with it because I've yet to watch it. Shame on you. Shame on you. I don't have Disney Plus, that's why. Oh well. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Don't tell me there's another person I need to give that website to. Wayne, would you like a link to the full series? For free. Not from you, no. <laughs> <laughs> That wow. sounds dodgy. <laughs> it's just not helping some people. All right, yeah, anyway. no. Uh, says, well, you have to assemble the tanks and such. Was that Ruth's reference to those uh, little... One, one yes, I would say to Fenris. Yeah, yeah, probably. Actually, let me get out of private chat. For some reason, I left it in private chat. 
Uh, fire in LI, I mean. LI? Not getting the reference. I'm lost. Uh, fire says, I see Snowy has already made a start on the Titan support. Yeah, the Titan. Yeah, the Titan support. Yeah. Yep. That's what I was asking about a minute ago because I didn't know what it was. Yeah, he's. Yeah, th this is the uh, Legion Imperialis stuff. Oh, you guys with your insane detailing. Look at that. Wow. Well, it's all pre done. All I'm doing is just edging it. <coughs> no, you want insane detailing. Look at uh, Lindsay's. Uh, mm. Ghost arc that he did. Oh, we have. Yeah. But there's some serious competition there with uh, Lindsay and Carl at the moment. I think Carl's trying to do the one up them thing with his two tone. Yeah. And don't forget Sprue. Yeah. Sprue's Sprue done a good job on his as well. Yeah. I like Sprue's. Next person now to join in on them is going to be Terry. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to be one of the Carl's got. With, it's a with, knight. It's not a roll. That's a chaos knight. <laughs> that upset you, go. <laughs> Just said, call him the wrong name. Um, Bion says, now, if Games Workshop could only get around to releasing Legio Cybernetica units. <laughs> no. Why not? I hate... Uh, no. I can't stand the automations. I hated them. I hated reading about them in the, in the books. I just... No. I got to tell you, Fion, I don't know if you caught it, but uh, a lot of the guys here do a, a, a Wednesday stream, their War, Warhammer Wednesday stream, live stream. So if you give a little sub, to, I don't know if you, who you sub to amongst us, but uh, Carl, Lindsay, uh, the Carl and Lindsay's channels. Uh, you both stream it, don't you, Carl? I do Warhammer Wednesday, and Lindsay does Warhammer Friday usually. Of course, it's the PPM, which is usually Warhammer. Yeah, any well, channel Lindsay does is usually Warhammer. Right, so that's a link to Carl's channel. If you head over there, I was giving him a little sub if you haven't done already, um, and hit notifications, then the Warhammer Wednesday thing will come up. There's usually about, I don't know, five or six people in that, Carl. Yeah. yeah. Do they go live at five? No, when you're at school, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. We do it on a Tuesday night. Uh, oh, eight, eight till ten. Yeah, Tuesday nights. Yeah, that'd be right before I'm leaving to go to work. Calling sick. <laughs> no, I'm not calling and scared. <laughs> Scared I ain't going to make it. <laughs> uh, Fion says, already subscribed earlier, thanks. Well, no, thank you, Fion. It really does give us encouragement to do more. And we, are, we do appreciate every single sub we get. We do. Oh, yeah. We we just hope you enjoy what you what you see. Yeah, that's it. And maybe yeah. one day one of us will get Games Workshop sponsored. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big wish, though, isn't it? I don't think uh, I don't think Games Workshop sponsor anyone on YouTube, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. They sponsor, I think it's Eons of Battle, Zorb and I'll show you the Tank Girl, Whisperer, Say Hi Paul is another one. Yeah, and they've all just got all the uh, old world. Yep, 
Yeah. And I think um, Pete the War Gamer, I think, is also. He's either sponsored by them or he's sponsored by. Um, Forge World? No, not Forge World. Uh, Erie Games in Ireland, I think. Because uh, I know he's gotten a hold of a bunch of Warhammer stuff. He does a lot of conversions in that. Which one of these days, when I finish painting all my other stuff, I need to get on to uh, my Space Wolf conversions that I did. Did some kit bashing between um, first generation Space Wolves and the Wolfen models. Yeah. Speaking of um, like old world, I think these are from like the original. Oh, yeah. Oh. Chaos Knights. Yes. Still sell a thing wrapped as well. <laughs> wow. How much do you think? Uh, if I remember, I think they were... Uh, what was it? Uh, it was 35 45 US dollars. I think for the box. Ten pound. Okay, yeah. So about yeah, it's about twenty. It was twenty dollars, something like that. That's all I paid for mine. It was ten. About twelve dollars now. That that'd be about seventy dollars here. <laughs> I got it from a news agent that was doing a closing down a retirement sale. So. Um, I had two of these boxes for ten pound each. Oof, that was a steal. That's called being in the right place at the right time. Yup. Yeah. That's cool. Have you got any more? Yeah, I got this <laughs> box and another one. But I cleared out his Warhammer stuff. Oh. Uh, I think I had about six or seven items for fifty quid. Uh, oof. Not, not so you tell us after the fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Release date to that movie probably twenty six somewhere there. Depending on the size of the movie, usually takes about two and a half years. Oh, I took the label off. Because the guy would actually put stickers on to show when he had it in the store. And I think this one was in his shop from 2013. Right. So it's just been sat in his store for like 10 years. Oh, I ended up doing that at a store up in Chicago as an independent retailer. Um, I found the original white metal demonettes i was looking through i realized he had a wall of forge world boxes hmm. that he had purchased and i walked over and i saw demonettes and i was like opened the box up and i was like closed the box and i was like i'll take them <laughs> one of you guys was like what i was like the original white metal demonettes and he goes uh 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 yeah, I'm like, uh, nope, not getting them. Nope, mine. <laughs> and they are running around in one of my bins for uh, where I've got all my stuff that I'm doing, working on doing for terrain pieces or diorama pieces. Yeah. 
because they are one, they're not game legal, and two, they uh, yeah, they're scantily clothed to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't show them on here, in other words. <laughs> uh, no, no, probably not. No. Not with Terry around. <laughs> no. The thing is, just uh, thin. I finally found out how to say "buy on" properly. It's thin, apparently. You just say it like it's thin. Uh, but thin's been saying, indeed, you've been giving me some ideas. Always a dangerous thing. Whenever I'm watching these guys, you get so many ideas in your head. So many more kits that you want to buy after watching these guys. Oh no! Wait a minute. These aren't the white metal. They're the plat. They're the resin. Okay. They're the resin cast ones. I just found them over on my shelf. Still a good bargain. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because the original, you know, almost like Tyranid Claw um, arms and everything, and anatomically correct women and all the fun stuff. That was a good bust. Oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Oh, and Finn says the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite page three. The sun. Let me go over to my mates. <laughs> oh shoot! I almost ended up with lemonade all over the table. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I'm heard that. Like I haven't heard that brought up in God. So I heard page three of the sun. I'm just like, oh. Mm. Yeah. Know about it. <sighs> what Maya wouldn't know about that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Samantha Fox, for example. Oh. <laughs> no. I refuse to behave. No, I'm talking to Carl. He's, he's quivering in the corner now. <laughs> yeah, we done a quiz the other week, didn't we? And her eyes came up, and I recognised them straight away. <laughs> Couple of things I always remember. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> oh, just lovely oh. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometime next week, I uh, will probably be doing an unboxing of the new Harder and Steinbeck. Um, Evolution 2024 Squigmar Edition. Hmm. It is shipped. I just don't know when exactly it's going to show up. I thought you said something else then. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> no. It's in the mail. Yes. Can't get Terry back in YouTube prison. <laughs> so this week's been like bloody YouTube prison. It's been at work. Yeah. No, we're not. Page. We're not putting Terry in YouTube prison again. <laughs> or at least not intentionally. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow, Mr. Peep's going viral. 
<laughs> no, it is seriously. No, I know. One thousand five hundred views in a day. Jeez. Wow. Nice. Because it's an animal. Just yeah. for a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you weren't allowed to have birds on the telly anymore. Oh, uh, we're <laughs> in. Go on, Mr. Peep. Red breath, so or not. Hey. Headline is the Peep Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet his ratings to go up there, would not they? Why? Why you just given me a? That's the best idea ever. And everyone will be going on here and be like, "Oh, it's not yeah. that." Do his own channel, but the peep show is a perfect name. If anyone doesn't know what I'm on about, I've made friends with a little Robin on the dinner breaks at work. And it started out where he'd just been in the bush and I'd sprinkle some breadcrumbs and he'd eat them. And now, after some advice from Michelle um, about mealworms, um, we've got him eating from my hand now. Um, Yay. I did see one of, the, one of your videos on that. Only thing is that Terry's got to watch out for Batman because he's <laughs> taking Robin away. Oh! <clears throat> no, the cat, he, the cats are learning to feed the Robin. <laughs> I've done a bit more reading about them as well, and apparently they're fiercely territorial. And, Majorly territorial. And there's definitely two two Robins. Uh, one's a little bit fatter than the other. I mean, guess which one's the fat one? <laughs> the, pink, the one that likes pasties. <laughs> yeah. Um, I scrapping in the hedge. Um, Are you sure they were scrapping in the hedge? Not making yeah. any in bush? Man alive, they go for it. Apparently, they actually fight and fight to the death. They will, yeah, they'll kill each other. The territory. When a mommy bird and a daddy bird scrap. Yeah, they're tickling each other, honest. <laughs> so, but what a strange little bird. They only live for a year and they fight to the death of each other. Wow. <laughs> Just little geese. Jesus. Lucky there's no bees around because he'd be teaching us about the birds and the bees. <laughs> it's pretty cool to have you on board, actually, Wayne, because Carl was having to fulfill two roles earlier on. <clears throat> Try to do Spring's role and your role because <laughs> you weren't here. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means I was trying to be funny. <laughs> if I can just say, anyone out there with a blue spanner can come and join the panel. Yeah, because at the moment we're all spanners. <laughs> <clears throat> There's no one good tool between us all. Mind you, we got a Sparky as well, though. You say it's not fair, that, because I think Terry's quite a big tool. Oh, he is. You must be on mute again. Yeah, I can't hear him. No, no way. I was munching on some crisps. Did he say Terry, something? Terry, I think you're on mute again. You're full of poodoo. <laughs>
Uh, Finn says yeah. they tried to use pigeons as a shortcut to electronic guidance systems for bombs back in the World War II. Yep, I heard that story. Is that where we get skeet shooting from? Because you practice them. Um... <laughs> uh, crap. Hey, you remember that film about the assassin? And uh, what was it? And they got the rats and the bloody peanut butter and all that and strapped explosives to them. With Angelina Jolie. Oh, yeah. They tried loads didn't, they, didn't the Germans try something like that during the war? With Probably. Or... Didn't the Germans do something with bats? Bats. Bats, bats. bats you know. Wind. I think they had a Running out of ideas. Bats. I'm looking it up now, German bat bombs. <laughs> oh, that was uh, the United States tried was doing that in World War II with uh, Japan. They were trying to um, get bats to firebomb Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, right. I, I knew somebody had used bats or something. Yeah. Bat bombs, bat bombs were an experimental World War II weapon developed by the United States. The bomb consisted yep. of a bomb-shaped casing with over a thousand compartments, each containing a hibernating Mexican free-to-air bat with a small, tiny incendiary bomb attached. Dropped from a bomber at dawn, the casings would deploy a parachute in mid-flight and open to release the bats, which would then disperse and roost in the eaves and attics of houses <laughs> with a yep. mile radius. Yep. Uh, the incendiaries, which were set on timers, would then ignite and start fires in inaccessible places in the largely structures of the Japanese cities that were the weapon's intended target. The United States Navy took the control in 1943 using the project, project X-Ray. Wow. Uh-huh. See? I do know some of it. Hey, is that why Batman used batarangs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like useless crap on. <laughs> A series of tests to answer various operational questions were conducted. In one incident, the Carlsbad Army Airfield Auxiliary Air Base near Carlsbad, New Mexico, was set on fire when armed bats were accidentally released. <laughs> oh man! <coughs> yep. <clears throat> Sounds the like they were winging it. The bats. Oh yeah, they were winging it. The bats roosted under a fuel tank and incinerated the test range. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like nobody wanted this project project it was uh, following this setback the project was relegated to the navy in august 1943 then relegated it, it out to the marine corps and then marine corps passed it out to the army <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> yeah, you can't make that stuff up. Nope. 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 Maybe that's why that species of bat became endangered. Wow. <laughs> Finn says, yeah, a classic example of friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> I got that song now. This girl is on fire going through my head. That's right. Uh, I've I was got thinking, bat at the hell. 
<laughs> I've got the one from Queen Latifah that the roof is on fire. No, no, another one rock. Burn the dance floor down. Even worse, you could probably do the song Another One Bites the Dust. Oh. Yeah. Where's the time anyway? No. Carl's got a great video on his channel at the minute. Which one? I've just posted a link to it. Check out that. Yeah. Someone's got the munchies. It's Carl. No, not this time. That was a pure guess. I didn't look. What are you trying to say, Scott? Not a thing. <laughs> Not a thing, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Put your crisps down. <laughs> Come on, you're supposed to be doing more hammer. You're a swine, you. I've just gone over to my channel to see what you're on about. I'm going to have to have a look there. <laughs> oh, they're Smurfs. <laughs> if that's the case, where's Smith at? That's, the back sisters, of, that's if the Sisters of Battle join them. You're right, though. I should have done the pink one. Uh, well, she had blonde hair, so. You mean like that? Oh, look at Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Oh, that's just lovely. Yeah, that's Can actually, I was doing, I'm doing that as Emperor's Children. Because Emperor's Children, um, pre-heresy, were a dark, uh, dark pink. And then after the heresy, they went to that bright, uh, bright pink. <clears throat> it's almost Pepto-Bismol pink. Hmm. 
I'm calling him Don. I don't feel like fiddling with him anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to try and do the eyes on it, and I'm like, no. Yeah. Look at the computer. <laughs> yeah. I should have stopped at the other store closer to the house and to see if they had it, but I uh, decided I didn't want to. Oh, did Terry buy the last one for you? We're doing that for no. a color. Oh. Was that the color shift? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Quite nice, that. I'm looking at that London bus you got hidden over there. Hey. That London bus. <laughs> oh, there. Mm. <laughs> Didn't you see that, eh? Yeah, that's my Christmas present from Michelle. And after I got it, Lindsay went, You're going to regret that. Is that the same one that, that Pete from Oscar Muslim building? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's got the photo etch. It's not a nightmare that kid Wow. No, oh, that's nice. That is nice. Hey. Hmm. Chaos night. And he has a big weapon. Oh. Size of that. That's one big rod. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's got a big hand, I know. Hold it there. <laughs> so his nails need clipping now. He's got nails like Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've used that colour shift on the tip as well. So that the tip of his weapon's all shiny. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't shoot snowies, does he? I've been feeling left out, Wayne. So I got some Space Marines. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done them. God, my voice went my pitch. Huh? I think I got. Well, I think my yeah, my son's got a. Um, Warhammer starter set and it's got Necron and Space Marines. Oh, that was the Indominus set. That was a, a ninth edition box. I don't think it's that one. Although this is something else I gotta build and learn. Because uh, he had this for um, Christmas. Ah, yes. The kill team box. Yep. Which one did you get? Salvation? Scott. Hmm. 
Rock. Sorry, somebody. Um. It's got um, Death Corpse and Orc Commandos. Oh, okay. Is there anyone running this channel? Yeah, Terry. I thought it was Terry and Scott. Get it right, Ooh. Terry Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Stick Wayne on big. He's, he's trying to show some of it. Wait on a minute. Oh, hang on. Got something in his hand he's trying to show you. Oh, okay, yeah, I've got... I think I had that one. Connie's joined us in chat, by the way. Yep. Hi, Connie. I had texted text her Connie. saying that we were on. Hi, Connie. <clears throat> Hope everything's oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, she's working from home. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a work home with her. So well, got... they had a they had a small tornado come through where her oh. uh, patient lives. So they've been staying at Connie's. Lost the underpinning on their trailer. Hmm. I'm thinking uh, that, that Finn could be a plant from uh, Games Workshop, you know. Because uh, Finn seems to know an awful lot about Warhammer. <laughs> oh, here it is. I found it. That's, this is the 40k one. <laughs> Oh, and of course you would catch me on my back to the computer. Oh. Trying recruit to grab edition. dinner out of the refrigerator. Oh, the recruit edition. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, I had this for a tenner as well. Uh. Somebody's picked up some bargains, right? It's it's from that same news agent. I the one I had the Chaos Knights from. So yeah, I had fifty. I'm sure it's got to be about six six different items for fifty quid. I had. Mm -hmm. I think Terry's getting jealous. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying a god gosh darn word. <laughs> Lindsay, was that a link to your uh, stream tomorrow, mate? No, that's my YouTube channel. All right. Um, try to get to our Lindsay to is 400. So if you're not subscribed to our Lindsay, we call him the godfather of internet modeling for a reason. And that is because his models are outstanding. Um, if you've not seen any yet, head over his channel. Show him a bit of love. Give it a little subscription. doesn't cost anything. Just a little ping. And that's it. Uh, does won't be disappointed. No, you will not be disappointed. No, you will not be disappointed at all. Stunning, stunning, stunning model. Dang it. When somebody asked about Warhammer earlier, Lindsay does a lot of pop-ups on Warhammer during the week as well. Yep. And uh, I don't even know what this means, but Finn says the Necrons just got a very unexpected major nerf in the 10th edition. Uh, Anyone? I don't know because I haven't been following the rules on them. I haven't, gun. I haven't played it since fifth edition, and I wasn't planning on playing in tenth edition either. I yeah, I got a lot of the models models to look at it, but a lot of the Warhammer guys on here, what we call plastic Warhammer guys. In, in the they make the models, but they, they don't know a lot about the history or anything like that. So, Finn, you win there, mate. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't play the game. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't play That's anymore. Nice. I just like I like collecting and painting. Yeah, just um, you, know, painting, you know, I like that one, mate. Yes, yeah, Celeste, Celeste and Prime. Okay. I've just seen um, Stormcast Eternals. <laughs> yep. And again, this is one that my son chose because he had money off my mum and nan for Christmas. 
So he decided, I want this one. I don't like the idea of doing the wings because they're... Uh... The feathers. Yeah. yeah. Hang on a minute, didn't Connie make that one? They look fragile. Uh, I swear I Connie did something like that. I think Connie there might is, have. There's a big give to them. But yeah, I wouldn't pick it up by the wings. No, they're, the tips are, fra are somewhat fragile, but the model itself is very sturdy. I think uh, I think Ross did that one as well. I remember seeing it on somebody's channel. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you're on this one. This one. Mm -hmm. yeah. All I can say is good luck with those wings, though, Wayne. Jesus. I oh, tell you, okay. Wayne, Wayne, it really annoyed me because what? Well, but last summertime, I got a load of Warhammer figures in an auction and me and the wife wrapped them all up for me son for Christmas and then I just got back into Warhammer before Christmas I could have kept them myself <laughs> you can split them <laughs> yeah so they yeah one three different Warhammers to learn Because he wants to play all of them. So I got Age of Sigma to learn, Kill Team to learn, and 40k to learn. Yeah. But they do sure. cracking box art as well, don't they? What Games Workshop? Cracking box art. Oh, well, yeah. This one isn't. It's crap. Yeah. Boring. Really Nothing on it. Yeah, the ones I got for me, some were just white. I stand for it. I don't know what it is with some one. of them. Why they don't have like the box art for it. Connie says she's only got the Sylvaneth and the uh, Ghost Ark. God, that Ghost the, Ark is, the Ghost Ark has proved so popular, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. in a shopping it's cart. Literally, but... because the Lindsay and Fru. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Uh, you, you did a video of mine, didn't you, Terry? Yep. We uh, go find it. Oh, God, I can't find anything. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Just, I like uh, I like screws combination colours. It's nice. No, I think that's. Oh, good. I do have the instruction booklet in there. Cool. Oh. Well, you know, there's actually a uh, Marine still in there. Can I play that video again then, uh, Lynn? Oh, yeah. You had it on the, the last show and tell show, didn't you? I've got the I've got the full video here. I'll just uh, lob it up. Yeah. Anyone that wants to send me pictures of their stuff, by the way, to put it on a video, I will be. Email mail me on the email address on my channel details. And I'll put it up just like I did for Lindsay and the uh, car. Love it. Show. Let's see. You've also got the stills, haven't you? Here we go. Hmm.
Wow. Is that corn red, Lindsay? It's um, Rojo. No, it's too bright to be corn red. I think it was uh, Mephiston that he used on it. It's actually model color by A.B. Vallejo. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's uh, 70926. Cheers, Perry. No, mate, thank you. I always enjoy, like, when people send me the high-res stuff, I just get blown away. It's like, you know, that that Jeep of um, Carl's, just, you know, incredible. Because sometimes the, the webcams they just don't do the models justice. So no, no. yeah, I know that's right. Uh, Finn says very nice, completely briefing, just beautiful work. Like same again, beautiful work, Lindsay. But we know this. People have been following the channel and following the uh, show and toll shows, which, by the way, is restarting in March. Um, and if you've not seen them yet, just click back on my channel or any of the guys because they, they will stream them for theirs. Um, some of the, the gear that's been shown, and then just beggars belief. I just uh, wish I had more of the high res pictures to go with them. And I think for next season, uh, I might kind of insist that if people are showing stuff and they haven't got a very good webcam, that they, they, they do send the high res because people just don't, you know, it's okay saying, oh, that looks great, even though we all know it's on a poor webcam, it's not genuine. So send, by all means, send the high res pictures through. But we just lost uh, Natasha again. We have, yeah. No, still here. Oh, Natasha's still here. Who dropped out then? Don't know. Uh, don't know. That's Carl. Still here. Yeah, it's Carl. Oh. <clears throat> Probably he's probably back in Scotland. He's lost his internet connection. <laughs> yeah, it is forecast up that way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, for the next season of the show and tell show, um, just going to up the stakes a little bit and get a bit, a bit more quality pictures coming out so people can see the real detail that have gone into these. Because it was it's kind of shameful. Lindsay was showing us some great stuff last season. I mean, the lorries and trucks and tanks and that. And they deserve to be shown off in all their glory, I feel. Definitely. Let's uh, go to Natasha for a little while. Let me finish this part. Well, I know it's not you, go back to me, it is. <laughs> Ah. Ah. I've nearly finished this part already. Do <laughs> it some care, sir. Don't kick out. I do apologise, Natasha. <laughs> All right, I'm used to it. I think someone kicked himself out. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. No. But, yeah. oh. Carl says uh, Michelle's computer's gone off. Yeah, okay. Oh. It couldn't handle the quality, Lindsay. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> it got jealous of that ghost dark. Right, we're on uh, Natasha right now. I wanted to show off what Natasha's doing. Um, let me go back to that. There we go. And then that. No, coming out slowly. For those uninitiated, this is a thing called uh, diamond art. Yeah. And it will eventually be a picture of uh, Baby Grogo. Or Baby Yoda, Yoda as I call him. He's under there. <laughs> but he's coming out slowly now. You see where I still am. Oh, he really is. So he's slowly coming out. Just got finished a bit there, a bit over here. And he's done on this bottom bit here. Oh, I'm gonna have to soak those guys. Jesus. Uh, Finn says notices that YouTube server hamsters have been having increasing problems as of late as well. 
Нет. Sorry, Natasha, I talked all over you then. Go on. That's all right. I'm hoping this picture comes out okay because it's quite a small one. I'm going to get the wife one, see if I can get her into doing something. <laughs> Join you on the line. Do you, well, that'll what be you do, Natasha? Do you put them in photo frames when you finish? When I've done them? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to frame. I've already done quite a few. I've got to frame about four or five yet. Yeah. And then they do go up on the wall. Um, I have managed to do a custom of Simba. That will look awesome when it's done. So he'll be going up on the wall. All my walls are just going to be done and painting. You can see it, can't you? <laughs> And then the odd random plane and tank that I'm making. Yeah. Well, how's that Jet Provost coming on? The the one I was doing, the first one. Yeah. Ta da! And there we have the finished product. I've got to tell you, for a first effort, Natasha, that's absolutely outstanding. Yeah. First effort at trying. And red's not the easiest of colours either. Nope. No. No. No, reds and ye red, yellow, and white are the bane of my existence anymore. That's as far as I did it. But I've done it, but I didn't do it with the wheels down. I did it without no. it. I think that would have just confused me a little bit. So. Well... It's your model, so it's your choice, isn't it? True. Did uh, you use another, another company's paint with that, or did you use the paint out of the kit? Paint out of the kit. Wow. <laughs> Even more impressive. Couldn't yeah, you receive the, um, the Gen 2 paint, not the first gen? Mm. Uh, for those uninitiated, this started out as a... Airfix starter kit, which came with paint and brushes, all in one thing. They're uh, they're running about ten to fifteen pounds at the moment in the shops and on eBay. Um, but at the time, these were running about three quid with an offer from was it Aldi? Aldi and Liddles. Aldi and Liddles. Liddle was doing them ones. Right. Yeah. Little were doing them at a crazy price, like three pounds. Yes. And just about the entire modelling community went out and cleared the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> mental so everyone was doing group builds of it and our natasha's wanted to build one for a while and with penny's help um there it is yep that was good i only bought a sherman and a tiger yeah we started on um, a tank at the moment i can't remember what it's called and that is natasha's very first ever sherman we're, we're building this together at the minute before. But yeah, my very first attempt, gave it a go. There's a few um, things I could have touched up on, but do you know what? You learn as you go along there, don't you? So. Have you caught the bug you now that you want to build more? Well, I'm already doing my second one. <laughs> uh, building that along with Penny Once you start, you can't stop. Uh, I am actually enjoying it. It's just the instructions need to be a bit clearer for me sometimes uh, with learning difficulties and that. So I do get confused on what I'm doing with it. So we've got some comments coming in for you, uh, Natasha. Um, Jeff Light says, fantastic first model, Natasha. Uh, Finn says, very good indeed. Totally agree. Uh, then Scott says, uh, Carl, you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> And Carl's really stuck the knife in there with me. Um, who was that that won the speed build? Yes. Sprue absolutely won the speed build. Beat me into second place. And he, he won it without cheating at all. Wow. Much. <laughs> and I'm not bitter much. No. Oh. 
The modem still plugged in? Silly question, I know. The thing is, it's a 56k modem, it's got to put a hole in it, doesn't it? Yeah, you've got to wait for the dial-up. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably lost the magic sound. Up. Yeah, if you ever want to get Gen X, just play the uh, play the dial-up tone from AOL. Yeah. It, it watch every is. watch every Gen Xer in the room just cringe. Okay, it happened at work at the same time. Last week it happened at work. Uh, one of the um, guys was explaining to me how the new reporting system works, right? And I just looked at him and said, "You sound like a 56k modem, mate. I'm not getting a word of this." He goes, "What do you mean?" <laughs> said, a 56k. You know, must know what a 56k modem is. He goes, no, I've got uh, no. What is what is it? So I had to explain to him what it's and the noise it made. Oh god. Tell him to dial up a fax machine. That's about the same yeah. same tone. No, he'll just say what's a fax machine. <laughs> oh for fuck oh what's your language? Me, that happens all the time. Oh, I do not know what a fax machine is. Oh god. Oh uh, <clears> so <throat> funny. So I, I, I guess they don't. I guess they don't know what snail mail means either. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says cloud computing is causing a ton of issues with the internet these days. I would imagine so with the amount of bandwidth it takes up. Oh god! Elastic band snapped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff White says his son agrees with you, Finn. Hmm. I mean, I've not heard too much about what the cloud is doing to computing, but I'm going to look it up now. But I would imagine with like the transfer of information to the cloud, it is taking up a, a crap load of bandwidth. I would imagine that's that's what the problem is. Someone mowing the lawn. Yeah. Oh, shaking up paint. Yeah. Ah, right. He's my paint of, mixer. He's got one of them newfangled paint mixer things. Well, that's, well, I'm starting starting to develop carpal tunnel syndrome from work from repetitive motion. It only took me 30 years of twisting screwdrivers to do it. So that's what he calls it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very good, very good indeed. <laughs> he hasn't gone blind from doing it though, at least that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are determined to get me demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> no. YouTube won't know what that means. Just then, it hasn't been eaten his uh, carrots. Mm. <laughs> Carl's in the green room. <clears throat> hey, Donatello. <laughs> Welcome hey, back, Carl. Hello. Oh. You're <laughs> muted, mate. <sighs> Did someone phone the house? <laughs> no, he's looking now. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what the hell that was. Internet went off. Uh, no, to Kirk, Michelle's, right. to Michelle's, but not mine. <coughs> when you went off, about two seconds later, I got kicked out of the channel. No. <laughs> yeah, Michelle had to restart the computer. No. You didn't call IT support. I thought you did that, uh, Terry. Yeah. So I went and got some more coal for it. Oh, the new elastic band. Alrighty. Yeah, get one of those ever ready ones. Ever ready what? Elastic band. Uh, <laughs> oh crap! I'll get one of them after. <laughs> It's when he oh, bounds together. I thought he was going to kick me again then. 
Oh, it's going to peel the paint. Oh, this is beyond my knowledge now. Finn says, uh, your son is right, Jeff. Uh, cloud computing was originally developed as a cheap alternative to computer time sharing for academic purposes in the early 1990s. It was literally never intended for anything. And now it does. Yep. Mm. Uh, Finn says, resembling mission critical applications at Jeff Light. Welcome to the computer show. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone going to get an error 404? Yes. It's the poor man's Linus Tech Tips. Thank you for calling technical support. Have you turned it off and on? Yes, and it's working now. Oh, you've got the IT crowd theme tune going through me now. I better call Michelle, otherwise I'll just hit it. Hammer time. What is that you've got on your desk there, Ernie Carl? What? I'm trying to work out what you've got on your desk. It's like all of marbles. <laughs> no, it's the uh, engineer blocks. Yeah, they're one, two, three blocks. Yeah. Mm. Just holding me yeah. chassis square. Ah. Chassis but that one is a one, two, three, four block, because you go look, you got four blocks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my sides. Wayne, you've been saving this all up, I can tell. I think he has. He's been with the adults too long. <laughs> Wayne is the punmeister general. Uh, no, Finn. Y no, just no. What? Finn says we shall convert you all into acolytes of the Omnissiah yet. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm going to clue what that is. Is I did that fancy intro for that war for the Warhammer build of the little blue men. I'm not going to be able to use it again now, am I? Why? Why? I'm not building any more for quite some time. Oh, but you need to buy some more then. Yep, I'll look okay. after it for you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to remove my hang on. How much of it can I give you? Hang on one second. He's got it anyway, hasn't he? Yeah, you've got it anyway. You can just rip it off the front of the uh, build videos. I stand firm against the alien. The mutant. I could redo this. The heretic. I grant no mercy. I give no ground.
bear the Imperialis. The symbol of loyalty unbroken. With reverence, I receive actuation. Awakening the armor spirit. I wear the symbol of my chapter and join my brothers in war. just to get the Warhammer fanboys a bit moist. It worked! Moist. <laughs> moist. Uh, yeah. John, Alec. Uh, welcome aboard, John. You're a bit late, mate. Nine minutes, nine minutes. <laughs> oh, it's that time already. Hey, John Alec. Good evening, hey, John. John. Well, I think it's fun as you can keep on going for as long as you want in the green room. <laughs> I've got to go. Yeah, we're still rocking and rolling, John. And um, big hi to Dutch Dave. Ooh, I've got to tell you, if you haven't uh, sub to Dutch Dave yet, uh, Dave's channel has been putting out a serious amount of uh, shorts and videos recently, and I am an absolute fan. Um, I think I've given the thumbs up and a little comment on every single one of them so far. Yeah, good stuff, Dave. Well, Terry, I'm gonna have to run. I gotta go run a uh, Belgian Malinois for a little bit. Oh, God! So Enjoy. I will Enjoy. catch y'all later. You mean that Malinois is gonna take you for a run? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw her bone in the backyard and let her chase it. <laughs> so, I will Sorry, see y'all later. Thank you for joining us. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Snowy. All right, guys. All right, Snowy. Say, hey, Mike. Yeah. Bye. Right. Boom. I think I'm going to call it a night there. Just do the body of the dreadnought and that's another night now. Okay, Lindsay's live tomorrow morning, everyone. Don't forget, if you're not sub to Lindsay yet, head over there, hit notifications, and you'll be notified as when she goes live tomorrow morning. I'm going to go live at 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Uh, everyone's welcome to join once again. Um, it's been great having the company tonight. Uh, thank you to Wayne. Thank you to Carl. Thank you to Scott. Uh, thank you to Natasha. Thank you to Lindsay. Um, thank you to Snowy as well. Thank you, Snowy. Everyone thank you to the bloody yeah. internet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh like i said it's great to be back i've been working hard all week on the hotel refit um i'm going to keep streaming friday uh, saturday i try to stream sunday as well but mon monday to thursday i've got literally no chance because i'm working early in the morning late at night um stick with us folks we've got good stuff coming up obviously march we're going to crank up the show and tell show again but for now on behalf of myself little history terry and all the guys on the panel tonight, thank you so much for joining us. We're getting out of here. Everyone have a safe evening, afternoon, morning. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.